see what. Hello, guys. Is anyone joining? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, guys. DSA will be meeting its virtual family live. So I thought I'd share this guy with you. So join us. It's coming down shortly and it's going to meet its virtual family. So I hope you enjoy this. We're waiting for him. Um, he just came back. He's been out all day from morning and he's aware that a lot of people, a few people are here that wants to see him. So um, he just arrived. He's outside at the gate. His car has just arrived and you'll be seeing him shortly. So if I don't say anything, just know that. Uh, okay. Join. Uh, Maya Wa is filming this. <laughs> If I'm quiet, know that I don't want to interrupt the meeting and conversation. I'm quiet. <laughs> Just know I don't. Can I have my speaker? I don't. Okay, I'm trying not to interrupt. Not dying, guys. Sorry, Try not to interrupt. We can cry. Hello, Rochelle White. Hello. <laughs> So guys, Julie, do you want to hold this for me? I need to get the speaker. What do you need? I need to get my speaker in the bag. We'll go oh, right yes. and do the <laughs> Julie and cameras. Hello, guys. So if I don't say anything, just know it's because I don't want to interrupt. What I'm trying to do here is to just let you see how DSA meets his family, his virtual family. So he's coming soon. He's been out all day from probably 8.30 in the morning and he's just going to come back and meet his family, his virtual family. They're waiting for him. They're waiting to celebrate with him and also uh, those that came for the HMT History Makers training. So if I'm quiet, I hope you can hear me. It's in a pouch, Julie. It's in a pouch, a black pouch. Yeah. So I'm going to get my um, speaker so that if I don't speak out loud, you can still hear something, okay? Alex, thank you for joining. How are you? I hope you're okay. Thank you so much for joining. No, smaller pouch, black one. Yes. So we're getting ready. This car is just coming through the gates and it's going to come in. No, not that one. <laughs> Going to my bag everywhere. <laughs> so, so we're just, um, I can show you some people already. Let me just turn my Thank you, Pia. Thank you very much. Good job, ma'am. Tibet. Thank you so much. Yes. It's not been inside. Okay. Maybe, Maybe it dropped. Oh no, it's here. I'm sorry, Julie is here. Hello, guys. Okay. Hello. Hello, guys. How are you doing? I hope you're okay. How was your day today? Was it a fun day? What did you do today? Um, oh, Julie. Thank you. Tell me if you can.
Can you hear me, guys? Can you hear me? Hello. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Howdy. I will behave. Okay, behave, Evan. <laughs> I don't mind if you don't behave. <laughs> That's my key. Thank you. Right. Thank you for telling me that you will behave. <laughs> Hello, Nikki Skelly. Yes, we can. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Because I don't want to shout. DSA is coming to meet his family. And uh, I just want to let you guys on it. I don't want you to miss it because it's usually grand when he meets his family. It's usually very exciting. And um, by the time I get the camera, it's too late and I can't film. So at this time, I don't want to miss out. So I'm ready before he comes. Okay? So I hope I'm doing the right thing. I, it's, I've been given all access. So for that reason... Here I am. I'm going to do what I need to do. <laughs> Hello, Gloria. How are you? You for my join and she's here. And Marie, thank you for joining. Yesterday, Ye thank you so much for joining. Heaven, yes, yes. Skelly, thank you again for joining. I see that you've been joining Ro Raolat. Ra Raolat Adenike. Yes, that's my Nikki Skelly that I know. Okay. So guys, we're going to see what happens shortly. Thank you so much for the love. So, we're waiting. We're waiting. I just want you to see as well um, the preparation table. Look at that. Mm -mm. It's pretty late. We've already had dinner, but in the usual DSA style, you always like to feed you and feed and feed your mind and your body. So um, his staff here, they know him better. So they're preparing already a table before his guests. So um, this is his usual style. We've already had our dinner. We already had three course meal already this evening. And they're, they're also preparing other things for us. Tomorrow is going to be pretty hectic but I'm going to make sure that um, I let you in on all the actions. So um, I hope Charger would not um, let me down. I'm taking two uh, cameras, so hopefully we'll be able to see everything that happens tomorrow. I'll try and keep you updated with all everything that goes on. So we've got a few people here already. They're yeah. waiting. <laughs> you see? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. We also be Deborah Cole, thank you for joining. You can share this, guys. Hello, Bola. How are you? Thank you. Thanks for joining me. Gift, thank you. Haji, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's pretty late here. It's gone past 10, but, you know... We're happy. Uh, we're starting early tomorrow. We're excited. Um, and we just, Marielle, Marielle, thank you for joining. Hi, how are you? I hope you're okay. I'm keeping my voice really low because I don't want to disturb the people already talking. And also, during the time when as pastor walks in, there's going to be a lot of noise so that I can give you the uh, lowdown. I might not say anything, but I have the camera up. For you to see so guys can you please share with a little bit more people so that um, everyone can see i'm holding the camera off here comes caroline whoa caroline say hello caroline Previet. Oh, Caroline don't speak English anymore. Oh, you're getting a lot of love, Caroline. Oh, yes. Yes, you are alive, Caroline. Previet. She said Previet. Previet. Hello. Previet. Okay. This is Russian. This is the new Russian girl called Caroline. Yes. <laughs> lovely, lovely. She just walked in. Um. Your yes, I am. Well, HMT starts from Sunday evening. 
So we start HMT from the 2nd of April and it goes on from early in the morning to very late in the evening, every day for five days. It's very intensive. Yemi, welcome. It's intensive and um, we will also film that as much as we can so that you see what's happening. But in the meantime, today, what we're waiting for is some of Dr. Sunday's virtual family are already here in Ukraine to celebrate the anniversary with him. And also for the HMT, they're already in, here in Ukraine. As I said, I'm repeating that so that you can hear me. Um, I know I'm speaking really lower than usual. So I just want you to, to know and uh, see what happens when he meets uh, people for the first time. So I'm pretty excited for you to see because usually by the time I take out my camera for you to see, it's too late and um, the real action is gone. It's such a loss of action when you meet people usually. So um, I just don't want us to miss this one. I want us to see everything. I want everyone to see what happens, what it's like um, meeting the people. Yes. Guys. Yes, 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 yes. Hold on. I want to be a little bit nosy. There's something else happening somewhere else. I'm going to have a look. Uh, <laughs> what's happening? What if he comes down now? Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, guys. Um, just wait, wait, wait. It's going to happen. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I'm excited. Julie's laughing at me, guys. I don't know why she's laughing. When she laughs, I laugh. When other people laugh, I also laugh. Like laughing. So, hi, Lily. How are you? How is your day? I know it's Wednesday, but I'm feeling like it's a Friday, you know? Even though I don't have a day feeling, but I'm feeling the Friday feeling right now. Ori Yomi, thank you for joining. Stella again, thank you for joining. Ade Ola Disu. Ade Ola, you should be here. Are you on your way already? I hope you are, you know, because we're expecting you. Lily, thank you, thank you. And Marie, thank you for joining. How are you today? I hope you're all okay. Thank you, beautiful people. Yes, we're almost there. We're almost there. He's coming. So I'll let you in again. There's a conversation going on here. You can't hear them. You can just see them. Hello, Ola Martin. How are you? How are you doing? Um, for some of you guys that don't know, I now do the daily um, vlog on DSA's uh, page on Facebook because I get more audience and I think it's a lot better so to show a lot more people what's happening. So it's now on DSA uh, page. So just to let you know, if you're, if you're usually someone that joins me on my daily vlog, I had one this morning, it was exciting, so it was good. Marie, Maria, how are you? And Kiru, how are you, Pastor Kiru? How are you doing? I hope you're okay. So, just to let you know, for those of you that are just joining us, um, some of uh, Dr. Sunday Adela just... A virtual family they're here to celebrate with him and for that reason I want you guys to see what's happening and I, I, I particularly want you to see how he's wel he welcome his guest when he comes in um, because usually by the time I show you by the time I get out my camera it's too late you don't see the main action 
So I want you to see the main action. That's why right now I have the camera up and it's not in here yet. It's just coming from um, teaching in the city. It's been out since morning and it's just coming from teaching. So we're waiting. We know that he's on his way. His driver has already called to say he's coming, getting closer. And as soon as he get here, he's going to be saying hello to us. Um, so I can't wait. I can't wait for you guys to see. This is my Snoop camera again. You know, I have my vlog, but this one is a Snoop camera. And that's the reason why I'm talking really low so that um, I will not be detected. But a lot of the people already know me that I do the vlog. So they, when they see me having anything up, even if I'm trying to act like I'm on the phone or I'm sending a text, they already know what's happening and they're not fooled. So <laughs> anyway, uh, I just thought I'd share that with you quickly so that you would also know what happens. I think I can hear his voice. You know? No? That's no. two. Yes. <laughs> Where is he? Okay, it's getting darker, so I'm going to go back to the lighter area. Hi. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Hello, Allah again. Thank you very much for joining us at this hour on a Wednesday morning. It's going to be a quick one. As soon as pastor comes and you see what happens, I will let you guys go. You can, you're free to go and do what you need to do. So um, it's just, this is one of my Snoop cameras. I just want you to see. Like I said, if you're just joining me, you will see that um, there's some people waiting right here. I'll switch the camera over again. He had, uh, he had a gathering of about 120 fish small over the whole area. So I was in his home. And I was with an angel first. And I was there, I so the people that we've got there, we've got Rochelle White, we've got Caroline Sharon Care, we've got Pastor Rory, we've got Pastor Derek Schneider. I don't know Pastor Rory's last name yet. Uh, we've got uh, Lola Sharon Care, that's Caroline's mom. And... Uh, We've got Judy as well here. We've met some of them already. And uh, who's new? Yufoma, Ngor Yufoma Agu Anigoro. Anigoro is also here waiting. Um, so I cannot wait for you to see what happens. I'm going to, even if I have to wait, if you guys don't mind, uh, as long as it takes. Uh, where is Pastor now? Do you know? No. Hmm? He's, still He's still getting ready. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Guys. Okay. <laughs> yes. So, guys, how how is your day? How how is your day today? How did it go? Today, did you watch the interview with uh, Pastor Derek Schneider that I did earlier about emotional intelligence? This was the last part of that interview. Did you, were you able to watch it? If not, can you watch it later, if possible? It's only an hour long, but it was really, really interesting. I learned a lot from it. So if you've got the time, sometimes today, tomorrow, whenever, just um, take your time and watch the video. It's a great video um, interview that we did. So go ahead and watch whenever you're ready. Um, so guys, I'm, going, I'm still staying on, trying to talk to you, uh, show you uh, how prepared we are. Maybe uh, there's some fruits here, water, cake for people to have when they're talking to D Dr. Sunday. But the honest truth is we've already had our dinner today. So I, this is just usual Dr. Sunday style. I don't think any of us would be eating this. We've already had a three course meal this evening. Um, any more would be too much, I think. But hey, this is, there's always a celebration in this house and we're always prepared to entertain and feed you mentally and physically. So this is the preparation for 
those who are joining Dr. Sunday this evening, um, this is just a welcome um, snack, I guess. Uh, good evening, everyone. This is Justin Mayo. How are you, Justin? How are you? I hope you had a good day today. And um, for those of you that are already with us, can you please share this with people? Only a few people have shared so far. So the more, the merrier, so that you can see. Still waiting, 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 waiting. You'll be here soon, though. We've waited long enough. Um, too good for the eyes and miss. No, you haven't missed Olabdisi. You have not missed. We're still good with time. You're in good time, okay? You're in good time. And marie I have to watch it later. My battery died all oh, on me while watching the villa with this. <laughs> and marie you're so sweet. Yes, you can watch it later, not to worry, it's okay. Watch later. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, you can watch later. Yes, waiting, waiting, waiting. <laughs> Battery may die while you're Battery waiting. will not die. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been told my battery may die while I'm waiting. No, it will no, not it's die. Not <laughs> it's not. It would not die. I know that this battery will not die. And if it does, listen, I've got another device ready. So not to worry about that, guys. Okay? I got you. I got you. Okay? I got you. <laughs> Just to let you know. Oh, I love this girl. You guys said it's a lot of fun now. What's it? Adewale, Adedoin. Thank you for joining me. How are you? How was your day? I hope it was okay. So I'm going to share this beautiful day, this is the evening with you. I want you to see what happens. A lot of the time when guests have arrived, guys will not believe what happened, how Pastor welcomes them, how Dr. Sunday welcomes them. And I just don't want you to miss it this time. You know, so that's why I've got my camera ready. And as soon as it comes in, that's it. You guys will see live what happens. I'm waiting for him to arrive in the VIP, um, that's the VIP, we call it the VIP. Um, who says, now nah, that's funny? <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> What's funny, Evan? <laughs> well, let me in on it. I'm already laughing. I don't even know what's funny, but it's funny that something is funny. It can only lead to laughter, so I'm already laughing, waiting for what's funny. <laughs> okay. Okay, I do, I do, I do, do I mean? Thanks for joining. Anybody else I've joined that I haven't said hello to, I please accept my apology. How are you? I hope you're okay. I hope you had a lovely day. Mashu Esong, I don't think I said hello to you this evening. How are you? I hope you're all right. I hope you're okay, guys. I'm waiting. Gosh. I Guys, how are you? I had the grand welcome queen at Anastasia got. Yes, exactly, Anne Marie. I'm eagerly waiting to see how it goes down. Exactly. You see what happens there? When, when Pastor meets someone, I don't want to say too much, right? But I'm so shocked to see what happened. I remember when I met him, it was uh, during a service, but it, I got a huge hug. I was excited anyway to meet him, so I don't remember a lot of the things that happened even though it was about two months ago, but it wasn't, I've seen so many grand welcome, I don't really want to tell you what happens, but probably tonight might not live up to it, but because, you know, when you talk about something too much, <laughs> but I think it will, that's why I'm doing it live, you know. Yes, I'm waiting to show you because I've seen something similar to Anastasia's. I didn't see Anastasia that wasn't here, but she mentioned it in one of the videos. And I want to show you because I have seen real life yesterday with Russia. Was it yesterday? A couple of days ago with Russia White. It was quite a big deal. And I just missed that because I didn't have my camera ready. And I'm not having that today. So... Guys, that's why I'm holding this camera up. My hand is starting to hurt. I'm a little bit thirsty. I want to go and get a drink, um, get a glass of water. But I don't want to leave you guys alone. 
Thank you for sharing those that have shared, shared or sharing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep sharing, please. Um, yes, so I don't want to miss out. And that's what I'm waiting for. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Open the windows, yes, please. Yes, open the windows. It's getting hot here. The waiting man, gosh, gosh, man. I stick like my English. <laughs> no, I'm tired. I'm tired, but I'm excited. <laughs> no stay with us. We love you. <laughs> I love you too. Thank you. I love you too. You're such a gem. <laughs> Nico is here. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Hello. Say hello to Julie. Hello. Say hi, Julie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at you know, I know. <laughs> because so I'm nice. getting tired, but thank you, Maya. God will reward you immensely. Love, love. Oh, thank you, Ma. Thank you, Deborah. That's yeah, lovely of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're right, mighty Igor. Igor, say hello. Guys. Hello, family. Probably the first face you will see when you come to Ukraine. Is this is Mighty Igor. Yes, Mighty Igor. Guys, you remember Mighty Igor, the comic? <laughs> I'm not comic, actually. <laughs> That's him in person. <laughs> it's really a Mighty Igor. Oh, somebody say hi, Julie. Hello. 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 And hi, Igor. Yes. So, Igor. Yes. Hi, Jennifer. Hello. I love your comments. Aww. They were really? so funny and on point. Oh, when was this a comment? Oh, she always has like really nice comments. Oh, like, her thank comment you. Was like, yes, yes, yes. She's sharp. Yes, she's, a sharp, sharp yes. Yes. <laughs> she's a sharp lady. Yes. Eager, my ego. Do it. <laughs> I was trying to get ego to do the fighting ego, so I'm like, wow. <laughs> Julie is shaking her head. When I do my silly stuff here, she just shakes her head. That like, what's wrong with this girl? I know. <laughs> but I'm excited. I'm usually like this. I ain't go, y'all. Her name is Julie. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. The girl. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Guys, did you see what I did? Look at this. Can you believe this? Can you believe Welcome this? to Ukraine. Can you believe this? <laughs> now you are seeing me live. Live and direct. I'm real. I'm real. I saw you asking me how you see for the Sunday. I saw you. Since 8 o'clock, I've been gone. From the court, then to the conference, they are for pastors. Then I'm just coming back. I just came back yeah. 10 minutes or so ago. <laughs> I'll and say so, I'll see you at least. Sorry for that. I have a special apology to you, but we'll talk about that later on. Oh. <laughs> well, who else have not seen? I've not seen you. 
<laughs> Your Highness, welcome. Thank you. Nice to have you. Thank you. Oui? Sorry. How are you? I'm Julie, I can take that. Much better? Much better. Well rested? Yes. <laughs> welcome home. This is home for her yes. now. Yes. She's back. Yes. But well, she's disappeared from internet everywhere. Everybody is asking me, where did the call of me disappear to? I said, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It'll be back April 1st. April 1st? Yes. Positive. Saturday. The whole world is waiting for that to happen. The whole world is waiting for that to happen. How is Mrs. Shorun Kai doing? I am blessed. <laughs> you are coming here for the first time without your husband. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but he's home already. Yes. He's home already. <laughs> Happy birthday, girl. Birthday, <laughs> <laughs> girl. You brought me a whole gift from England. Not just for me, for my wife. For my children, special chin chin. Oh, special I am 50 years old. And see, see the problem chin chin. See the problem chin chin. See the problem chin chin has given me. This doesn't grow by itself. This grows out of a lot of unnecessary stuff. And you want me to eat chin chin? Are you sure I'm not going to become like this after I finish that? <laughs> but you are managing. You are managing. Maybe because I'm an old man now. Who is that? <laughs> Hello, sir. Oh. Who is this? Sorry? And I've forgotten about you. I remember the face, but I don't remember the beard. I don't remember the beard. I don't remember that beard. That beard is confusing me. <laughs> he is the barber that's here to do. I see. <laughs> You've been here before. Yeah. You had the husband of <laughs> interesting name is the name of your wife. Irina. Savage? Wow, you Irina. Irina, Irina, yeah. Irina. Pastor wow. Remember, he remembers that. <laughs> yeah. Are you coming to Bali? Anyway, are you are you coming to Bali? Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Come, come, come. They don't get lost. 
No get lost. Passes PA. Don't get lost. Maybe the ladies. That's Alex and Igor. Yep, yep, yep. And that's Natalia. Um, with the with Pastor's iPad. Pastor Natalia. <laughs> You've been watching Kid Ukraine for the up like for the past eight months or six months. Six months. And now what you've been seeing on TV yeah, is a reality to you now. <laughs> Baptized, he's bap- getting baptized. Baptism. A little gift from John. Ooh. No gift. Okay. How do I open this door? Slide sideways. Sideways. Ooh. Okay. Okay. You see, I told you who cares for me. Okay, thank you for joining. Anybody there? Yes. Are you it, me? Yes. Hello, everybody. Is it Hello. live? Yes, it's live, sir. Well, 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 well. Oh, wow. You got oh, more gifts. Book. More gifts. What were the other ones? I have got it too. Ooh, my books are coming. Yay! <laughs> my books. Guys, I've got something. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm not jealous of your boss anymore because I got my book. This is right, the second book. Yes. I got another book here. Yeah. Yes. I got my books. Yes. I'm like a little kid. Yes, she loves books. Because I cannot leave the brain, I cannot go buy my books. Somebody is going to shop for me. Yes. And get the books for me. Yes. So I've got to rejoice. I got my books. I got my books. I got my books. So, I, now I can rejoice. Yeah. My own anniversary has started. Yeah. 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 See that yeah. I eat cake. Uh-huh. If you are not afraid of adding some of the things I'm already having. It's enough, it's enough. No. Come, guys. <laughs> well, well, well. How was your day today? Because I was gone. What was the day like for you people? Because I was gone. Yes, we had a more relaxing day without you being here. (laughs) (laughs) So whenever you went for the class, you start the prayer meeting from God to take part of Sunday away from the house. (laughs) I'm going to disappear before you could relax. Okay, I got the message. I got the message. I'm I've, not a part of that group. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to disappear for you people to relax. No, it's not in a bad way. It's actually in a good way because we, we've always been, the group of people that are in the house at the moment, Thank we always so. want to chase you for knowledge and we can't rest ourselves. So we went to bed really late last night. And this morning we stayed. And the night before. And the night before, exactly. <laughs> and the night before. And but I was the one answering all the questions. Yes, you were. But you were no. torturing me. No. <laughs> I was the one carrying the load. How come it's not me who is tired? Because I'm <laughs> How come it's you who is tired? How come you are the one complaining about tired? I was tired. I was tired. I, I, I wasn't the only one tired. I'm going to be ah! <laughs> Julie in because my brain was hurting and she said as well in one of my videos today that her brain was hurting. Yeah, we had so, some things yeah. to process that. Exactly, it was really tiring, you know. We're exhausted. So today um, we all had a video thing. Julie listened to everything again throughout the day. Ooh, yes. that's good, that's good. That's the time to okay, recover yeah. and to you know, rewind, yeah. and rewind. And so did our Rochelle White because yeah. I, I, I saw them. I sneaked into the room. So I had oh, you them. Saw them. <laughs> listening. They're listening to different um, videos of yours. The one that Rochelle missed on Saturday, and Julie was listening to the one before, the day before. And um, I was pretty much like doing bits and pieces, which is uploading um, some of the things that. So we you did. needed that time. Yeah, I do. I do need that time. I didn't get to sleep in the afternoon, but I had a relaxing, you know, easy going um, day. But then I was, as I was traveling from the church, I mean from the court to the church, I put on my uh, Facebook in the car, 
Hmm. And I saw your live program, and I think that's a good idea because what you are, what you started with at least the first fifteen minutes that I saw, you were telling them about the house oh, and yeah. about how it came about hmm. and about the crisis and just what is happening in Ukraine. What are the chances hmm. of you turning it on right at that moment? You know, that's just <laughs> how amazing. That's why. And the reason why I think that happened is because I want to suggest to you, I think God spoke to me that while you're here, you should be sh showcasing a different aspect of what's going on in Ukraine yeah, to the out good. outside world yeah, that way. Good. So you are bringing in the story, the history mm -hmm. that people might not know about. Okay, like you could tell them about the, history, the story behind HMT, mm -hmm. history makers, or anything, all the, all the presentations. What, just what is Ukraine? If you could do that every day, just, you know, half, a, half an hour thing, it was going on, just line. explanation, you know, that, then people, you know, because I saw the comments people were writing. And, uh, and a lot more, like, and these are some significant leaders in Canada that are starting to see this now, that are watching. The, I'll tell you some more stories later, but uh, the chances of you turning it on at that exact moment, because I did that for a moment of 20-something minutes in the whole day. For you to turn it on at that moment you is know, gone. Because God was interested. That is gone. Wow. God was interested. In it. <laughs> and uh, so, and what Mayowa has been doing too, uh, has really helped a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and especially the questions that, you know, that are being raised. Mm -hmm. And then the informal, informal nature of it. Mm -hmm. That is not like, I'm coming on officially, and this is just happening mm -hmm. impromptu, mm -hmm. and just coming live. And you know, like some people have even written to me about what I said concerning the death of my Monroe and mm -hmm. uh, wow. and uh, Eddie Long. And oh yeah, you saw it posted mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. Well, I, you know, you know, I don't know where they saw it from, but they just started writing to me. Yeah, I posted the clip of us in the vehicle. Right, you posted it. Yeah, not you. it's it's also on okay. uh, YouTube. I'm not sure to you. So people are people have been able to see that. Yeah, and these and these are like you know leaders who normally wouldn't take. A yeah, I've received a letter from Ireland, from uh, London, from yeah. Nigeria, yeah, and people yeah. writing and saying yeah. that was profound to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. those things are very strategic, mm -hmm. especially when they are short and they are answering a concrete question. You know, when they're breaking down into like bits, you're just addressing that particular question. Yeah, it's very strange. The way you title them, mm -hmm. this one and the other one, the way you title them was really very good. So I think that's also very revealing to people. Look with this guy. <laughs> ah, he got it. He got it. That was from today. So you no, did but that one today? was from his quote. Yeah, we did yeah. an interview today on emotional intelligence. But you continue. It, yes, this is the final part. Right. But that was a quote from yeah. one of what he said. Yeah, maybe this is what they watched. This was 1. the one in the car. seven k views. Just since you put it. Yeah, forty three shares. Wow, amazing. Fifty likes. Can you imagine forty three shares? So all their people mm -hmm. are see going to say. <laughs> and then I'm sending to all the pastors in our network some of the clips as well. So it's just strategic, strategic. Yeah, this is an amazing so when did you arrive? Uh, this morning, afternoon, this afternoon. This afternoon. Yes. And you came directly here or you went to the church first? No, I came, uh, you I came home directly. Yeah. Were you able to rest? Yes, this, this afternoon. So you are not, uh, nobody was, nobody congratulated you. Yeah, they just yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I, no, we're supposed, I missed that part out. I welcomed everybody. And then you nobody saw it. I didn't they see had, it. They had food. Yeah, because people are camera shy. As soon as they see me, they all run off. <laughs> she didn't run off today. No, she didn't, but she actually begged me and said, Oh tomorrow. Tomorrow will be good. They all bright. Well today was to Today. Yes, I know, but it's because you're here. Sir. Run up. Yes, it's because you're here. Honestly, I wanted to do it. You know, I love the camera. She 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 was not emotionally lost. She was emotionally intelligent. <laughs> 
I thought maybe something was wrong at first, but she was poised. And what was the reason you gave me why you were so different today? You were aware of every exchange, when to speak, when not to speak. Tell them why. What happened? Because uh, over, the, today? over the last few days, I've been learning, and especially um, the last, yes, few days. And I have to put that learning experience into action. So I was very conscious today during the interview to make sure I pay attention because I also want to develop my emotional intelligence uh, and not just be the um, interviewer um, for the sake of entertaining other people and I missing out because I've been saying that I want to, uh, I will go back to it, I'll go back to it, but I need to start putting it into practice so that other people can... You spoke intentionally. Let's see what Julie seconds that. If you, yeah. that you noticed the difference with her. Yeah, I, I, I told her as well that I saw, I was expecting her to talk, <laughs> but she didn't say anything. She was really well prepared, and very well listening, and you could see that she was in that conversation, and she really understood, you know, when was the time for her to talk, and... When it was in time for her to You've been talking for three days on emotional intelligence. So it's finally catching up on you, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you are getting the cash in the cold? Yes, I am. Emotional intelligence? That's a good code to catch. Yeah. It's a good one. Yeah, well, point. but Father, we ask you to bless uh, Ufuma today on her birthday. Yeah. And thank you for allowing her to honor us with leaving our family, our, our husband, our kids, mm. and our country to be here with us on her special day. Mm. And this tells us about the importance that she attaches to this trip, to this visit, mm. and to this family here. And so we receive her with all our hearts. Mm. We receive her with your love. We receive her as a family. We receive her uh, with our hands stretched out to her. And we just honor her today. In your name, we say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And so we release the blessings of God upon your daughter today. And we proclaim that she is blessed because she comes in your name. And she's because she comes to your people. And now we ask that this will mark a new beginning in our life, in our destiny, and in our calling. And as she has come to Ukraine, you will baptize her in the anointing that is upon this country. Mm. You will emerge her oh, in that grace, in that anointing, in that pool mm. anointing of the Holy Spirit. Mm. In the pool of your spirit, mm. of, the, of the corporate anointing of the embassy of God. Mm. The special thing that you've been doing through this church. Mm. The special movement that has been moving from here. Mm -hmm. The special touch that has been upcoming upon the members of this church. Mm. She will go back with it. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because you have said in your word that anybody that honors you, that, that person you will honor. Mm -hmm. So your daughter has showed honor. And she has honored us. She has honored your servant. Mm -hmm. She has honored your congregation, your church here. And she has honored your body here. Mm -hmm. And Father, it's time for you to fulfill your part of that promise. Mm -hmm. You say you will honor anyone that honors us. So, Father, time for you to honor her. May you, may, may she be honored at work. May she be honored in her calling. May she be honored in her family. May she be honored in the lives of her children. May she see your honor of all everything she lays her hands to do. May she see your honor in every place that you send her to go. In the, the husband, the family, the relatives, the students, all the people that she will touch and she is touching. The grace of God, the glory of God, the shining of the Spirit of God will be upon her and she will carry that anointing. And do what will you be able to do through this anointing here in Ukraine to break through in the, in an on, on, on common ground and to take the to take the nations in multicultural and uh, cross-cultural breakthrough. She will experience it when she gets back to England. Today is her birthday and you are giving her a fatherly gift from heaven. Give her something that no human being could give her. And let her know that she's stepping into something different. She's stepping into greatness. She's stepping into breakthrough. She's stepping into, into mighty understanding and wisdom. 
and she is stepping into destiny, into the fullness of what you created her for. She will begin to have insight like never before. She will begin to have understanding like never before. She will begin to see clearly in the spirit what you want from her and what you want her to do. She will be confident. She will have confidence like never before. She will have the, 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 the breakthrough adventure of a hurricane. And she will be able to, you know, break through the culture of England. Mm -hmm. She will be able to break through every culture. The, the African culture, English culture, uh, Indian culture, all the people in the land. She will be able to have an effect upon all of them. Visit her in the new way. Put your mantle upon her. And let her begin to soar for you in the spirit. And to show forth and reveal your glory and your beauty. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, Hallelujah. go for the cake and let your life begin to be sweeter than ever. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bon appétit. Amen. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Rochelle White likes coffee. Dark <laughs> coffee. Get, get some coffee. Who has most coffee? Everybody has one coffee? I have the decaf and yeah, the coffee. Yeah, I, I know. Thanks. Tea, 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 tea. You know, it's a privilege because there's so many pastors. And in the future, will be prime ministers and presidents who want to sit at the table with pastors in Africa. The night before the big celebration, this is like really a gift from heaven and a responsibility. So if you take what you pray and you take it, God will honor it. I see that uh, Julie is trying to shoot everybody to eat. She's, I can't see any cake in front of her. Julie, please. Uh -huh. <laughs> See, yeah, people are offering Julie cakes. You see? <laughs> Pastor and Pastor Rory. Caroline, what happened? Whatever happened to your kid? Whatever happened? That's <laughs> still the joke. You are my presenter. Uh-huh. She's natural. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a TV presenter. Don't you forget that, please. Yes. I left and I changed. And you left it in England. <laughs> <laughs> she forgot I came in England. <laughs> so what do we do with TSA TV? Oh, I have beautiful. Well, she probably had it on your head. <laughs> That's a head. That's a head. You can put some long hair on. <laughs> 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 it's really make another fun. <laughs> it's it's really fun here. Yeah. <laughs> but I think you didn't get to do your interview with Rochelle today. Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Well, you have tomorrow. Yeah. But tomorrow might be hectic. With everything else, I'll be sure. Everything good. I don't think, yeah. I think we have to do all that after the program. Yes. But don't let them go. I wouldn't let them go. I've already got their word. I've already got yeah. four people yeah. to sign yeah. up to my interview. All right. Yes. But then you have to cover whatever is going on in the yeah. break and all yeah. that. Yeah. Well, you, you have some breaks. Yes. But I just wonder if you need some rest. I'll be or okay. Maybe you need to get or to get a iPhone, iPad. as well. Yeah, yeah, and a camera. So when you are tired, you will yes. keep, keep on doing the SATV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caroline, you up for she it? She likes to do it. Yeah. She does yes. it. Yes. Right? I do it well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> doctor, I mean, doctor's you got, you got the new specialization <laughs> right there. <laughs> By prophetic <laughs> offerings. <Yeah. laughs> Was critiquing me though. Yeah. You could have done this better. Your energy level. Yeah, but no. you, you dealt with that, right? You fixed that. <laughs> you fixed that. <laughs> so you don't have jet lag because you are coming from England. Yes, better. Thank you so much. Because your me. eyes are yes. so clear. <laughs> they don't look as if they are coming from the western <laughs> 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 
it was she who was having jet lag oh, yeah. yesterday. But then she didn't want to go sleep. I sent her to sleep like five times. And she said, no, I want to sit in the atmosphere. <laughs> she said, I just want to sit here. Just let me be quiet. I will be quiet. But then I just sit here. <laughs> but I knew she was tired. Yeah. And she didn't want to go to sleep. <laughs> well, you are much better. You oh, look fresh. Why do you <laughs> You look fresh now because she flew like 30 to 40 hours from New wow. Zealand. From the end of the year. Yeah, from the end of the year. And she said if you measure it from where, well, from it's Auckland, famous. it's like the farthest from wow. Auckland, mm. from, you know, to Ukraine. Like the one end to the other. Yeah, I can't go there. I know that. What does she mean? <laughs> Thank you guys. Noel, oh God, bless our own communion here. Yes, this is beautiful. Thank you, Solomon. Fellowship and full spirit here today. Thank you. Mayawa, the whole world can see what you're talking about. Yes, they've been natural and easygoing. Man of God, I think you believe. We thank you very much. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say, guys, so that you can see. Uh, happy anniversary in advance. Thank you, Noel. I'm eating my own cake here in Zurich, so if you're watching it, do thank you for joining us. This is really lovely, Flora. Yes, thank you. This is amazing. This is amazing. Gift. Wow, this is beautiful. Amen. Yes. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Thank you. Give blessing. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Amachi. Thank you very much. She's only 25. Shaking my wow. Thanks for joining. MJ, how are you? Thank you. Isaiah, how are you? Love to everyone in the house. Love to the five years of eating cake ahead of me. Cool. You can eat the next 30 years. You can eat the but next 30 years. But I won't. You won't. You want to cheat. You want to cheat the, the nature. You don't want to get to be so. I'm trying to make sure nature doesn't cheat me. <laughs> <laughs> That's Caroline talking. You, you don't want to get to the, the 50 and be like me and be so wealthy or no. No, I want them to mistake Just like me. me. I wish I had them. I want huh? them to mistake me for a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. wow. Okay. Now, this will be a good year. Good things are going to happen. Good things are going to happen. And I'm going to try to invite all of you back for May to come. Let's do the Golden Jubilee. That's going to be my Golden Jubilee. That is the first time you I never knew I would live to be 50. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Can you hear that, guys? I've always had Can you hear? opposition, quick, you know, attacks, Can you hear death threats. Death threats. I mean, it's not like all day. Like, especially if you live in the 90s here. Mm -hmm. I mean, and you are doing what I was doing. You know, it's like it's impossible to you know, to survive it. And so I'm just here. I'm, I'm just glad I'm here. We are too. Well, a lot of people are happy, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Adventurous day today. Can you imagine? I've gone since okay. eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. I'm just coming back at ten o'clock. Got back over at ten. And uh, that's the way it's going to be every day, not just for me, no, no, for all of you. <laughs> <laughs> we are all going to be gone in the morning and mm -hmm. coming back at late, late at night. So get used to it. How many of your pastors came to meet you today? Uh, Two hundred mm -hmm. or three hundred? Yeah, we had about three hundred pastors today. Yeah, so it was a good meeting. Yeah. But the problem I have is that the, for the, my 50th birthday, <laughs> I have one for the evening for the concert. We have uh, a, we, we are planning to have a 
a hall, you know, to, to take all the visitors, just for 200 people, just a, a, uh, what they call it, a dinner for 200 people. And uh, so I told them, give me the names of only the senior pastors. Only senior pastors. So they gave me names of senior pastors from Kiev and the, the region. We have 24 states, like we call them provinces. Mm -hmm. So they only gave me from two provinces and there were 200. Uh, <laughs> I'm in trouble. I said I have about 100 people or 50 people coming from overseas. What do I do with that? Should I just keep them in the plane? How did they eat? How did they eat no, the they, birthday no, cake? Yeah, they're eating the cake. I have some comments here. They're eating the cake. Yeah, they're saying they're enjoying the cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody said I'm eating this. I'm eating my own cake. I'm sorry. <laughs> so that's a small crisis that I had today, and then you know after, after the two hundred. Then 200 orders say we were, we didn't register. They didn't register us. <laughs> so order passes today. So we have another 200 more today. Somebody said the cake is virtually <laughs> sweet. <laughs> virtually sweet. Uh, so May is going to be. So we went to. They took me to somewhere uh, where they could probably fix it for, for us and have the uh, ball, the birthday ball. Uh, not in the hall because there's no hall that can take on that. Mm -hmm. So uh, outside, in the forest, but outside, very good, good place. And then we're going to do it three days. So we're going to send maybe the Ukrainian pastors one day. Then the four, you know, That's why. Wow. yeah, yeah. So it's going to be three days. And you don't have to bother translating. Yeah, I. <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, but I really, you know, I think it's going to be. I'm working very hard. You can't believe it. I'm working to have 25 books at least published wow. just between now and that birthday. Wow. So I'm, I'm writing them right now because, because I'm releasing a book every month, every week now, and everybody is thinking, are you just translating them from the Russian books? I say, no, I'm writing them afresh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not translating the old books, writing new ones. And I want to make it to be able to write if I fail, I will write 25 books. But if I don't fail, if God will honor me, I, will, I might go to 30 or 40. I might go beyond 25 books between now and me. So I want to be able to put, because a lot of people used to say, why don't you have that in English? Why don't you have that? So we're going to have new French, French, I mean fresh books in English, but just for my golden jubilee. But everybody will be able to have access to them. And they are going to, some of them are going to be very, I mean, titles that are going to be like, you know, you might not be able to find them anywhere else. So before, you, before the end of HMT, I think we'll be able to have at least 10 new titles. Just before the end of HMT. That's in like a week. You have yeah, in the, books. Yes. Nice. in the next one week, between today, between tomorrow and the end of next week, we're going to have ten. I've written them, but you know, but the only challenge I'm having now is with the publishers. Mm -hmm. The publishers are saying, "We've never done this before. You are giving us too much trouble." I said, "But I'm paying you for it. Yeah. Paying you for it. Yeah. You go get other workers. Go get, uh, go sign a contract with another publisher. Get together, do something." Mm -hmm. They are saying it's too intense because there are a lot of paper they have to order, they have to import from Finland and all kind of things. <laughs> you can always give you excuse, but <laughs> we are not paying for excuses. That's so they even overloads the public. Yep, oh. yep, yep, yes. Yeah. Where is Igor? He knows. Igor knows. He, he, I told him, we're going to do 10 before the end of HMT. He came to me and said, Pastor, they said it's not possible. I said, tell them I said it's possible. <laughs> 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 he said we'll just do six. I said, nope, we're going to do ten. <laughs>
So he does it. He's trying to work out, work it out with them. I don't know what is. They are still fighting it over. But I said, don't come back to me without an answer. Wow. I have the books. They've got to do their own work. Mm -hmm. I've done my own part. The publisher in St. Petersburg could be a backup. He's yeah, I told them, go get a backup. I told them that. So let them do anything they want. It's not my problem. They get their money. Yeah, so, um, you know, it's a good time, good time. It's a good, it's a good time, and, uh, and thank God you got, did you get your visa? Yeah. Well, I got the temporary one, and then I have to talk to Alex about getting the... The permanent one, yeah. good. But it's good that you were able to come back. We really need that you back. <laughs> <laughs> because she almost spent a visa, the whole, you know, you can only stay in Ukraine, mm -hmm. like, for 90 days, in a year. And she had stayed for like for 30 days or something? No, 80 yeah. something. She stayed for almost three months. Almost nine, 90 days. She almost spent the, the whole limit, but they gave her another visa. So she, wow. you know, so you know, that's a blessing. That's yeah. a blessing. Yeah. I thought she stayed for like 30 days. I didn't know she stayed for 80 days. <laughs> <laughs> days fly here. Yeah. They do. <laughs> but, you know, like everybody was saying, you took over the internet. In one month, really? yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you, you felt it in New Zealand as well. <laughs> Call up me, Caroline. She's Call up me, Caroline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you just made the magic and disappeared. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I believe it was good though. <laughs> so that they will miss you. Maybe no. Maybe maybe people don't think it was good, but I think it was good for me. I think to so take a break. Not. It wasn't even a break. It was like. When I went to London, you know. Well, you are working a lot. It was a lot of work to do what you did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of work, like 15, maybe 10, 15 hours a day oh, to yeah. do what she was doing mm -hmm. every day. Wow. And she was, I, I mean, that's a high tempo. Mm -hmm. It's a high level of work. Mm -hmm. And then she didn't miss any day. <laughs> yeah, I was inspired by you because you were doing, you know, yours every day. And I actually had series after my current series, Wise for Your Age, but because of the content, it was love and relationships, and it was February, so I said, like the day before, I said, you know what, if Pastor Sunday could do it, could do it you know, I'm going to try, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to worry about any of the extra and just put the content out there, and I'm glad that people, you know, Julie was telling me that she actually enjoyed them more because she was seeing that it was just thoughts coming like you, like your thoughts will just come mm. and and what you will say will even be more than when you, if you were to prepare, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think it was good also for me to hear my own thoughts. Um, but only a few people could maintain that high work rate in the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, every single day. And you are doing like one program will last like how many minutes? Oh, it could be eight to ten. Ten yeah. minutes. For each every... one, but then I had my... Wise for your age series. So I was, I was doing like, so in total it was like 28 plus 4. So, because I had the wise for your age ones. Wow. But, you know, thank God I got them. <laughs> one month. <laughs> so it was good though. It was a good challenge. But you were not sleeping though that one month. No, because if, even, if, even if I, even if I finished work. For you at 11, I knew I had to get my video done before 12 p.m. Even if it didn't get uploaded, I had to do one the day, on the day. So at least I did it, and then I would edit it, you know, through the night, and then I would upload it. She was not sleeping. But she was holding herself accountable even by saying that into the camera. No, yeah, but you know. you know what? I know members of my church here <laughs> who said they were going to do the same thing. <laughs> and they started the first day. They, they said it to the whole world. <laughs> they said, I'm going to be coming, this day they said, I'm going to be coming up, coming on every day. <laughs> then by the 10th day, she just collapsed. <laughs> and no, she forgot she, what she said. For me too, 
the tenth day. I don't know what it is about the, that day. <laughs> the tenth day is the day of make or break. Because, <laughs> because, you know, with my wife for my age series, I wrote out all the points for each of the, my things. For this one, it was just every day I had to come up with something. Wow. So you, you have a few things that you always are thinking about. But then by day ten, you're like, oh, do I have anything else? <laughs> you think that's why it's only ten for <laughs> Yeah, that's why. And but. I know people, <laughs> even from DSA TV, and not just DSA TV, and other people that I, I I saw that were trying to do daily broadcast. There is one guy who was doing prayers in England. He's my friend. He maybe is here right now. I just discovered one day we say. Sorry guys, I was, I'm not able to come out today or I'll come out next week or then tomorrow. Oh sorry guys, I missed it. You know, people are saying I'm going to be every day. The same time, then you say sorry. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I understand. I think for me, you know, I was really grateful that you challenged me by, you know, putting me out there in the world to say, okay, she's going to do something. Because it was something that I've, all, I've wanted to do since college, but I, I, it was almost like I needed someone to tell me that I don't need permission to do it. Do you exactly. know what I'm saying? And so I think that's, and then you putting me out there made me go, okay, somebody's expecting that's something. Awesome. So, yeah. you know, I, I use this as an exercise for greater things that I'm going to do, so... Um, I don't, you know, like a lot of people are saying, oh, you're going to just do this for the rest of your life. But I really just see it as a tool to build, you know, what I need to do for what I need to do in life. So. And uh, I think the problem people face is also the, dis the discipline. Yeah. yeah, and that's what I wanted to do this for was because I know, you know, discipline that is such a foundation to so many things you, that you want to get done. It's just having the discipline, not only just consistency, but even attention to detail. Like, you know, I would fight you <laughs> when you say, oh, just use any lights. <laughs> I would be like, I no, I have to have daylight. And not just daylight, <laughs> then the best editing. Yeah, I have to have you know, my editing, everything, and it's not, to me, it's still not my best, but, I, but holding myself at least to a standard that I could... Be like, okay, that's good. Because I didn't know. think she, she needed just the daylight. Because then that even restricts her to a certain time. time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then she has to look for where the best light is. Mm -hmm. that's true. And I said, look, <laughs> look what my wife is doing. It's good enough for me. <laughs> she said, but look the shade, look the shadow, look this one. <laughs> and, and, and you know what the, the thing is, don't see shadows, the thing just... is I, I agree like it's not that everyone is going to see it but I think that it's important for me to be true to what I'm seeing in detail yes. and I think because I, I look at it as a tool it's not for me about just doing what's okay for people it's about me building a skill of identifying what is my standard and sticking to that and i that's think good. that's what i want i think that's the raw materials that gives you authority mm. i was telling her i was telling her before that i would look forward every time to watch her because there's so much authority coming through her and i learned something from watching your videos you would say Underline that word authority that's coming from the spirit it's not just saying that from his head that's prophetic. Mm -hmm. So uh, you would say many of the same things the pastor would say, but I learned from watching your videos that hearing it from different people, it's like, you know, a diamond, you have all these different facets. I got stronger things, especially when you communicate about women. It was, it was stronger because of watching But also, okay, for example, there is another guy from America that also committed to becoming an everyday. And then he says, because of circumstances beyond my control. <laughs> but I know your circumstances because, for example, I needed to meet with her in the morning and we needed to do my work. And I know she has not slept. So what does that bond that down to? Does that because you could just she could just have said I didn't sleep all night and now I'm doing past the Sunday's work. 
Those are real circumstances. Mm. Mm. Those are real circumstances. Mm. This is how you build faith. Instead of making excuses, just yes. embrace the situation. Say, okay, Lord, trust you. Yeah, and I think, you know, as I've been here, which I'm so grateful for, mm -hmm. is the fact that you're not a micromanaging kind of mentor. You're a mentor that just says, okay, Freedom, find Freedom. what you're going to do, That's and so then true. go do it. Like, it's just, don't ask for my permission, just go and discipline yourself. So and I think that what I was realizing is that a lot of my dreams are places of leadership, and that if I'm going to be a leader, I'm going to be the last, you know, the first one in, the last one out. Mm -hmm. So if I, that's who I want to be, then I have to start now, you know, not yielding to my tiredness mm. when I have a job to do, you know, mm -hmm. to just say, okay, I have a job to do, mm -hmm. so I'm going to do the job. You know, if I get sleep in between, praise God. If I don't, <laughs> I'm going to keep going. Mm -hmm. So, but I've learned that. I think I've learned that also just by watching you and watching your team, especially like, you know, I'll see Igor, I'll see, you know, everyone in your team who's been with you and they'll just Keep stay, going. just stay Keep up and just, going, yeah. even like, even if I'm sitting here and we're doing work with pastor and I'm upset because I know I have to do this video, I will just be like, okay, I'm going to, I have to get through this. I'm going to find a way like it's. Faith is also a part of it. Like, I'm going to find a way to finish everything. But, you know, rest of faith. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but it's also yeah. about not allowing circumstances mm -hmm. to manage you. Mm -hmm. So it's one thing that your leader is not micromanaging you, but sometimes we allow circumstances to micromanage us. Mm -hmm. And then we don't even know that we could be over and above, and above circumstances, that we could actually rule over and circumstances. Ruling our own life. Yeah, but many people don't rule. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Situations, circumstances, right. oh, somebody just called, oh, I'm sorry, I can't do that. You know, circumstances actually dominate, rule over people. So you are no more human over that circumstances. Circumstances now become the Lord over your will, over your life. The, may I say, this is the main reason you're being accused of witchcraft by people who don't yeah. understand. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they say I use black magic on a lot. This is, this is the main reason, because it is otherwise this so exposes people's laziness. Mm. It so exposes people that they don't know what to do with it. Yeah, because it's not, many people just take it like for granted as if it's natural, it's human, that circumstances just come to rule over you, your life. But that's why I talk about building your own prison, whereby you shut everything out. That could, be look, that could look like you are like strange, but then you shut out every other circumstances that could put you in the corner. And you build yourself, you know, a restrained life. Yeah. And uh, because it's not easy. Everything wants to be in charge of you. Everything wants to rule over you. Everything wants to take over your space. Everything wants to tell you what to do and how to spend your time. But to really get to a place where you actually you know, make your goal and your vision your navigator mm. and your compass. Mm. Then people will say, so you're not paying attention to me. You didn't respond to that. You didn't come. Mm -hmm. You didn't. So you are only living your own. You are so focused. Mm. But that's the only way to actually accomplish mm. what God sent you here for. Mm. And other people who appreciate that, they're not going to be distracted. Like, you were apologizing for something, and I couldn't even recall for a moment. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Because people will understand. Do you know we always say, I don't have time for it. I don't have time for it. But that's actually, what we're actually saying is, Every other thing is controlling my, my life, not me. I don't have time for it. I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. Because I'm trying to say every other th I have, an, I have a, a, an excuse that every other thing is controlling my life. 
But I shouldn't have that excuse. I shouldn't have that excuse because whoever lives a life whereby is able to manage his own time and circumstances and priorities, that he is in charge of his priorities, is the only one who is living his life. You don't live your life. You live everybody else's life when you are not living like that. And that fight is a major fight to live your own life. Because you say, I don't want to offend this person. I don't want to offend. You know, I want them to think I'm a team player or I'm a good person or I respect them or I, uh, I, I just want them to think I'm normal. But you don't care what God thinks. Yes. And what we should actually be concerned about is that God sh should know and bear witness to the fact that we are more committed and more faithful mm -hmm. to his own priority than we are to the good feelings that we want to give other people. Mm -hmm. But it's not easy. You really must be committed to do that. Someone had a question here. How do we manage the relative circumstances that depend on others? like waiting for the input to complete what you need to do. Well, that's exactly what I'm saying, that our life, in our time, in our situation, she was not totally in charge of all her time. You know, she was still dependent on me because I was a uh, boss here, I was a boss, and, uh, you know, a lot of other things were happening. She still needed to do this and do that. And then she still didn't stop any, she didn't miss any day. So I think you should answer that question. If, you know, when you still have other obligations and other commitments, how do you still make it to be faithful to your promise, to yourself, what you promise yourself? I think it has to do a lot with your desire. I think there's like a really um, famous saying that says, where there's a will, there's a way. There's a way almost like where... Not literally, but almost like you can stop the sun, like in the Bible, like that you can stop the sun and make sure that you get this thing finished. And so like, even if, you know, last minute, <laughs> Igor says, uh, we're going to shoot for Pastor Sunday TV because I have no time for the rest of the week. And I know I haven't shot my video yet. I'm going to pull out my camera on my way to lunch and start videotaping. Now, you might say, oh, but I have to go eat. Oh, but, but if you want to do something, you will find a way. So you're dependent so on So if there is a will, yeah, there will be a way. So, like, let's say you're dependent on someone's input before you do something. Is there any research that I can do to get myself closer to that answer that I'm waiting for? Or is there um, any kind of thing that I can give this person that will help them to speed up the process? You know, like, you just start to bend things to get your stuff done. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's something that I, I'm continuously developing is the will to bend things to, to, ha to handle my, my stuff, you know? Because whenever you see leaders do great things, it wasn't because the circumstances were perfect. It wasn't because wow. everything was there on time. Or they wanted it to, you know? And I learned a lot of this through, you know, doing theater, is that things go haywire on the night of, you know? And when you're managing, when you're stage managing, you have to find a way. The show is going to be, people bought tickets. People are, buy, are came to this show. They want to see this show. You don't have something, you run to the store. You send someone, you call someone, you make it happen because it's gonna happen at 7.30. The curtains are gonna uh, go up and you have to be ready. And I think that that's what you have to have is this overwhelming desire. And if you don't have it, it's not, if you can't, find a way to make it happen, it's not important enough. That's really what it is, you know? Yes. Like they say procrastination doesn't exist. Because if I told you, if you meet me at five, you'll get three, three million dollars. You would meet me at five. Uh, sure. But if I told you meet me at five so that we can, you know, uh, so pick up, I don't know, to do some kind of task for some dream you have. No, you, you might say, oh, well, you know. I couldn't yeah. make it. I c I'm sorry, I have, oh, something came up. Um, you know. <laughs> you know. So it's about, like, importance. You know, it has to be important. It, you know, and it was important. And then that's another thing that Pastor said when he gave me this 
uh, video thing is that he said, you know, you have to be a slave to your own word. So if you give your word, if you give your word to yourself, and that's something I'm still working on too. If I tell myself, I'm going to do this. I have to do that. 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 Caroline has just spoken. She's on Color Me Caroline. She's got her own um, page. So sign on to her page so that you can see a lot more of what she does. Color Me Caroline on Facebook. And she's also on YouTube. So check her out, please. And people don't try to live that lifestyle. So they're so committed until you become a slave. Because you could say it's my word, I take it back. But yes. to become a slave to your own word, I'm strong. Mm. When I gave Alex my word, I'd beat him right now. So then you have another commitment you have now. You've got to do everything every day, your half an hour. Oh yeah, well we did we did an hour Well that's we heard. But you have to do your own what you did what I saw. Oh, I mean But she will not be doing the thing with you anymore this week these few days. Oh that's not the other thing she would say. Every day pastors. Yeah, every day. Every day. You, have to, you have to commit yourself to be a slave. A slave to your own. I am committed. I received that in part. Uh, I received it. Yeah, we received. We all received it. That's, that's the problem right there. Come visit. Come visit. Come visit. I will. Come, yeah? come down anytime. I will. All right, bless you now. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. All right, Pastor. Thank you. Bro. Okay. Wow, great fellowship. <laughs> what what are you learning, Julie? Because uh, I know you like to make people happy. Is that not conflict? Is that is it not conflicting with that philosophy? Actually, I applied this today because we were sitting together and doing to lunch. To fall, otherwise, they would not hear. <laughs> we were sitting together doing lunch and also in time, and I said I have to go. Because I knew that I had a priority. And I said, That's it now. Yeah, and I said to myself yesterday, I remember that today, <laughs> since you're not going to be here, I have to use that day to actually go back and listen to what we were talking about. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. And I, it was hard for me personally. It was really hard because well, I was I looking for it. I think it was not too hard until you get to Dublin. Yeah. And you get back to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And with your colleagues. Yeah. And with uh, people you work with, and when they begin to give you all their ideas and proposals and their priorities, yeah. mm -hmm. to be able to put their priorities secondary mm -hmm. and put and keep your priorities, <coughs> yeah. you know, uh, number one, yeah. that's where the real test yes. will start. But at, at least you've got to start from somewhere. Yeah. So if you start from here and you begin to train yourself in that, mm -hmm. then by the time you get back, going to be much more easier. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think we might need to close one of these with this. Yeah, I think we need to stop them. No, I think so. The wind is coming. Yeah, yeah, the wind is coming. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor. <laughs> Thank you. So how was your experience so far, Rochelle, since you got um, Oh, I've just loved it, but I, I do, I, I'm very passionate about building a prison around developing myself. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what I'm focused on at this time, just really building myself, developing myself, because that is the greatest, of the greatest importance. And yeah, we were talking about that. Mm, yeah. yeah, it's number one. So, yeah. That's where I'm What's your experience in Ukraine so far? Oh, I love it. It's like everybody said, <laughs> you know, everybody was like, don't come to Ukraine, but I haven't come to you, I've come for the gold in Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where, the, yeah, there's great treasure. So I love, I love being here. Um, I don't, I'm not, yeah, I just love being here. You've not been anywhere. I don't else. want to get out. You don't even want to go. <laughs> 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 
This is to pray for you, right? <laughs> So what were you doing in England? I was in England. Oh. Well, what I thought I was going to be doing was just read a book and visit one person. And But what ended up happening was that we ended up meeting a lot of the DSA family. Oh, wow. <laughs> so any country you go to now, you say DSA family. Yeah, so that was really what took up most of our time was going from this part of London, or this part of England, to that part of England. And meeting people, but every meeting was so great and so inspiring, and we learned a lot. And um, uh, I think one of the most powerful meetings I had was with T.Y. Because I haven't talked to her since the time that you introduced us. We don't talk, mm. talk. And I think that that to actually meet her. Meet her. Yeah, to mm. actually meet her and to talk with her, really, because we share a passion for that industry. Mm. And so uh, mm. it was funny because I said that it was good that I, did, I wasn't doing my videos because... But the way you're talking about T.Y. and uh -huh. D.S. family... It's like these are people you know all your life. That way, that is the way. It is. But it's only this has only happened in the last like six months, eight months. Yeah. Two. And that, uh, but it sounds as like, if we've all known each other like We're so forever. Young, yeah. mm -hmm. Because and you know it's one of those things that when you meet someone that you've seen on on Facebook, there is like this one awkward space. But once you get over that, you, and you connect with what you guys have connected with on the on the platform, mm -hmm. then that's when the familiarity comes fast, much faster than mm -hmm. it would, mm -hmm. you know, if you were just... Because in real life, you know, it takes time to really get to, to play with yeah. people yeah. and mm -hmm. to really... But it's here, the, you know, <laughs> it's just like the clinging and amazing. the... Whatever it's called. And when I saw them in London, I was like, whoa! You saw them in London? Yeah! I, I was so excited. <laughs> oh, yeah! I have to go and see them! <laughs> you know, you just Family. So you've known them, it's a family, and they are here as well. Yeah, it's really powerful. It's amazing. To put, you know, and to see the lives around each one of the women that we met mm -hmm. was so great. To, to hear their stories and to be inspired by that and how much they've grown since they've met you. And um, that was, so I was glad for the fact that I was focused on the here and now in that sense, that I could absorb all that I could. But doesn't them. that show you also the power of the media? Mm. That all these people never met Pastor Sunday. Mm. <laughs> and you all met because of Pastor Sunday. Yeah. And you know this finished yes. personally, everybody, and you are all united just because one Pastor Sunday somewhere. Mm. And before, people needed to come here to get to know Pastor mm. Sunday. You know, like, it's Rory, he's been coming here. <laughs> You know, bringing people here all the time. Mm -hmm. But now, all these people in the hundreds and thousands, they don't even need to come here one time. Mm -hmm. And it's like we've known no. each other for mm -hmm. like, not just me and them, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. even Everybody. you and them. <laughs> as if you've all met and, you know, as if you're it's just amazing. a family. Truly this amazing. is just by <laughs> internet. This mm -hmm. is a new world we're living in. It is. People it's, get it's, to be connected, people get to be entangled, people get to be familiarized and to be even become like intimate, intimate family members, yeah, oh. not even traveling anywhere. Mm -hmm. And then you want you travel from you travel from Europe to America mm -hmm. and you met with them. Mm -hmm. And then it's just like you have a family everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Is that the yeah. thing that goes beyond that even is the fact that we're coming together as changed people. We're coming oh, together as transformed so people. Good. There's lots Great of people point. that gather oh, because they saw good. something together and they love it, like Star Wars. Oh, you know, good. but were you transformed by that I experience? See. Are you able to connect with people because of the transform transformation? That, yeah. And that to me is the power of media, yeah. is that people will faster become what they see than what they hear. Uh -huh. You know, and so I think... So that, what you, know, you are trying to tell me is that you could actually have gone to London or England and could have probably met even your family members, relatives, and you don't have such a strong connection, connection with mm -hmm. them. No, we did. We yeah. did meet my family members, and I didn't okay. connect with them as much. That's what I'm saying. That's what he said. Because they have not gone through the, the same process of that we have transformation. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. 
So wow, oh, I can look at it that way. Bad. Because then you even connect faster mm. with this, your DSA family, even though you never met them, and then you're not connected by blood. Family. Then the people you connect. Your biological family, that's true. Yeah. There is a level of understanding that you share. You know, so it's kind of like you don't have to communicate a lot because you're on the same. Ooh. And you speak the same language. Yes, yes. You come yes. over the same hurdles. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's a, I think that's the power of, of cinema and film is that you get to get a lot of people changed by what the uh, experience that they share. They share. Mm -hmm. And. Um, to me, that's my heart. Yeah, power. and then that means you have similar experiences. Mm -hmm. So if you talk about. Uh, the messages of women, for example, you know exactly because you have yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> If you just say, yes, okay, yes. transforming ideas to products, you know exactly what mm -hmm. women are talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you talk about anything, mm -hmm. everybody just catches you. Yeah. Yes. I see. Yeah. 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 But if you try to talk about that to your relatives, they don't know what Honestly, we did. We did talk to some of my relatives and we just kind of kept quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. anymore they just want to sit and just absorb and so whatever comes to their face their I'm eyes sticking. they just absorb and to me like that's my my thanks Deborah thing my hand is hurting is that you know this is an industry that will take time than know. any other medium you know because there's a there's actually a quote uh, that I use in one of my videos about de-individualization, about crowd thinking. And one of the things that the guy who invented yeah, de-individualization, mm -hmm. he said that it is images that the masses mm -hmm. will follow. Like an image will spark a feeling and they'll just do stuff mm -hmm. because of what the image told them. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how Hitler got so many people to, I mean, it's insane things. That's how, you know, that's how slavery was just continued forever. Because so we should really people. use this media thing for... Exactly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, I believe that. I mean, since Because it used to be that people all over the world used to connect just to people who come in from the same background as them. Mm -hmm. So if, you, if I'm traveling from Africa... So, England, for example, people will always tell me, look for people, there's somebody from the village, yeah. or there's somebody, a relative there, <laughs> connect with your people mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Or if you're starting, let's say, an African church, you see only African mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. yes. yeah. because you are the people of your culture, because mm -hmm. you, know, you are coming from, it used to be like, that's that, that to take that, mm -hmm. to connect. All, this is how it's been all over the years. That's why when the Jews, brought Christ uh, to the world, they were actually connecting first to other Jews who were scattered from Jerusalem yes. in other places before it took like hundreds of years before they could get all the other Gentiles and other nations. So it started with the real people. So, but now, it's another and mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's another, another connection. Level. It's the another connections level. used to be so that that Koshora or maybe a school. You know, it's used to be, all yes, that but now all now. of that is gone. Yeah, it's not about I, I went to the same school with you. I went to the same village. School with you. I went to, it's no longer about that anymore. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a new level. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. The way I see the the film or just television and cinema industry is that it's more than a nation. It's more than the world. Mm -hmm. It's it spans the whole earth, and pretty soon our screens will become one. We'll all be watching Bollywood movies, we'll all be watching French movies, we'll all be watching the latest European movies, the latest American movies, the latest Nigerian movies. It'll all be just one screen, and it will span the world. So whoever controls the screen controls the mm. world. That's powerful. That would be a very powerful yeah, medium. because <laughs> you come from, actually, you are actually from Congo, mm -hmm. and you are from London. Originally from Nigeria, but you are from New Zealand, yeah. and you are from Ukraine, you are from California, you are from London, you are from, you know, uh, in, you know, U.S., you are from Israel, mm -hmm. but being there, 
just makes us one. So we don't need to go to the same school and spend 10 years in school and say, oh, because we're in the same school, 10 years. So 10 years has been reduced to just one TV, Facebook, <laughs> smartphone. <laughs> Relatives who are in the same village, my father knew your father, your whatever knew your relative. He's been you can't say everything. Just yeah. I watch Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> I put on my smartphone, and then we speak in the same language. So fast. So fast. So fast. It's amazing. It's almost it's so surreal. Like you, you don't what? even you can't even comprehend it. Like how how does it happen? You know that just within a few months you connected with so many people and you, like you build a family mm -hmm. that's larger than what you normally would have. Ba, 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 how how does it? It's <laughs> and you know, Pastor and uh, Sister Ufoma, one comment that I remember that we got with in DSA family is that somebody said, "I live in London and I go to a church, a big church, mm -hmm. and." I've been going to this church for the past 15 years and I don't have connection. Mm. Even though I have home group, mm. I have yeah, pastors, yeah. leaders, I'm a leader myself, mm. I'm a leader there, but I don't, we just meet in church. Mm. Mm. There's no clarity. And then, you know, you know, they know, some people know my name, but nobody really knows, I don't know what, what they, we don't have common experience. Mm. Even though we go to the same church, I, 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 nobody has time, everybody's rushing. Mm -hmm. But this person says, in the past six months of just being on live program, I know more people that I'm connected with now. I'm closer to people on this platform that in the church I've been going to for, for the past 15 years. It's so true. I don't even know them. They don't know me. They don't care. We're all angry with each other. I guess each other are fighting. <laughs> In church, we're all not dissatisfied about something, we're all fighting. But here, I feel I'm, a fam I, I'm accepted here, I'm, I have a family here. So that's another dynamic to that. I mean, this is how Jesus, to me, this is how Jesus got the word around, is by telling stories. You can create pictures in people's minds. And they're more likely to go share a story than they will a sermon. You know what I'm saying? He did ten points on how to. People might remember one. But you tell them a story about a son who was accepted by his father. They'll continue telling that story for years. No, but, you know, even though I started this uh, life thing, and uh, I knew it was doing a good job, but thank God for this conversation. Because I never even made it. I didn't think, yeah, that it's actually as effective. Mm. And I didn't look at it from this dimension. Mm -hmm. Because what on earth could have even made me to become like one family with Rochelle? For me, mm -hmm. Rochelle, I'm not seeing Rochelle for the first time. Mm -hmm. For me, Rochelle Y has been in my mind, mm -hmm. in my emotions, mm -hmm. in my feelings, in my heart. For the past six mm months. -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give I'm one a la coyote. Thank you. Thank you so much. What on earth could that mean? I didn't go to the same school. No, no blood connection, no continent connection, nothing, no kind of connection. But, but she's here right now and we're sitting together as, we, as if we just want from just because somebody puts on the smartphone. So I didn't, in fact, I, right now I'm reconsidering, I'm reconsidering starting this thing again after my birthday mm -hmm. because I didn't know it's as powerful. Mm -hmm. No, I just didn't. It was so powerful that oh. they had to pull it down. Because <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Anne Marie. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I get a tripod. I have a tripod, but I need the mini one because tripod would be another big thing to carry. You know, yeah. Because, you know, what we actually are made of, who we actually are made of, it's, you know, it's like when God and says that he, he is the because beginning and the end of everything. Back. Like, you know, he, what we are made of is what God is made of. It's just all of it is like, like they say Adam's are just everything, you know, that God is just everything, so we can transmit thoughts, and they can feel 
more yeah, human to us in flesh. Yeah, you know, and that to me is thoughts. we could feel thoughts closer to us than flesh. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. That's what has been happening here. Yeah. Because the deepest friendships we have are all about purposeful communication and understanding one another and motivating one another to be better. And that's what your whole life is about. And that's what that whole platform is about. Yeah. Yeah. Because Facebook exists a long time ago and it's not happening before. So we are the first generation. Yeah, yeah. It's not just Facebook, you know. It's it's the foundation, the basis on which this is built. Because, you know, I have, I've been a pastor for a long time, and I have a church here, and, you know, I've, I've always had great people around me, but, let me tell you, what, you I, uh, what I honor and what I value about this DSA family is that I, I, am, I became apprehensive of my church and of my church members because I'm no, I'm confused. I'm no more, I don't know who is coming to church because they are in need of it for God or who is coming to church just to show off, to let me see that I'm here, Pastor. And when I call an event or a meeting, I'm afraid now that many people want to show up to say that they are compelled to come because pastor, you know, pastor said it, or because you know, you know, I have, to, I have to be there because pastor. So I'm not sure anymore that people, these people are doing this. Okay, let me just give you a contrast to that. On Facebook, I don't need to call anybody. Nobody knows me. Nobody is seeing me. I don't even know you. I don't even, but you are making time. So you are not obliged to me. So, but in the church, people are feeling obliged. You, you understand what I'm saying? So it's no more about the love for God. It's no more about the genuine thing. I'm not sure anymore. There are some like that, but I know also that a lot of people are doing things out of fear or out of, you know, obligation or out of just to be good or out of to just show that we are good members or, you know, a lot of dimensions that are going on, a lot of things that are not pure anymore. Yeah. But here, you have to create time. You have to run from work and say, I have to make that you know, Thank you, Lord. Program. Thank you. You have to say, no, I'm casting that program. I've got, I've got to do that. So, it's a kind of different... I don't know if you're getting what I'm saying. Yeah. Creating time, making time, and actually you know, paying the price when nobody will ask you, why were you not here yesterday? Yeah. Nobody is going to call you. Mm -hmm. Nobody is going to. But you still make time to actually pay the price to come and listen. I, I don't know if you're getting yeah. what, what, what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. No, I am. I'm so I am more comfortable with that. I, really, I would rather go for that. When people, when the people don't have to come. Mm -hmm. When people don't have to listen. Mm -hmm. But they make time. They pay the price. And they really say, we need this. But do you know what happens in my church? I have to announce it a week before or a month before. I have to motivate people. I have to call on them. So this, this conference that we're having, I didn't invite anybody. I didn't announce. I didn't announce one time that we have a conference, that we have an anniversary. I want, yes, I want, I just want to, I just, I didn't want to know who is speaking or who is not speaking or when, when nothing. Wow. Let's just see what happens. Mm -hmm. I, I would prefer that because that's more pure for me. Because before, what we are used to doing is that, oh, invite everybody, call people, make sure your members come, or you have to cajole them or whatever you call it. To, yeah, to, you know, to do things. I would rather have two people Who's not doing this? I need this. This is me. I'm, I'm paying the price to do it. Then, I don't know if you get what I'm saying. You've been in church long, for long, so you know the dimension I'm talking about. Yeah, today, yeah, okay. today, with Rochelle, we was talking about congregation. Then we go to church because you need. You didn't come one time, why you didn't come? So, but, but, 
<laughs> well, people, church yeah, but, but people in the church came with different uh, motives, with different uh, desires. Mm -hmm. And you know what, what happens sometimes? You come like for God, but after you don't feel <laughs> connection <laughs> with these people because, because, not because, we come in one place, but there is no connection. Why? Because desires is different. Oh. It's not about congregation. You need to stand up You need to but, when, but on the live program, yeah. when the desire is the same, yeah. no ulterior motive yeah. everybody, yeah. so the energy. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, this is oh. unity. It's not unity because we gather it together I in one see. place. It's yeah. not step. unity. Unity is what I connect it's with so people with, uh, uh, with um, the same values, with the same, with the same desires. Yeah. Yeah. And, so, and, and the reason why it's powerful is not just unity around you, mm -hmm. but synergy. Oh, because yeah. you are constantly learning. Yeah. Yes. Because, yeah. you know, most of the men of God I know by respect, and I think you respect many of these same people very much, they say they value the most of anything in people, teachability, mm -hmm. hunger after mm -hmm. revelation and focus and stuff. Mm -hmm. And because you keep that, and you honor people when they say something that is revelational, it keeps a synergy going. Amen. Because we learn from everyone. Mm -hmm. from each other. Thank you, Pastor Nkiru. Connection. This is the word, connection. Mm -hmm. Not one place where we gather. From different places. Mm -hmm. But connection, mm -hmm. I, I want to be connected with people with the same desire, not yeah. with the same place where I stay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because <clears throat> sometimes if you connect with people Thank with you, different Emma. desires, you can do anything. Mm -hmm. You try, okay. you do your best, mm -hmm. but <clears throat> after you understand, something missed, mm -hmm. something wrong. What is this? I came to church, I pray all together. Like, I do everything like, you know, the church teach us. Come together, you need to come to church. But <coughs> mostly I need to come together with people with the same desire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you you are trying to say that the unity <coughs> of, you need to close that because it's blowing at you. Yeah, just water. And water, okay. This yeah, is, this is this is free. Uh -huh. okay, so actually what she's trying to say is that the you the coming together in the unity of the spirit mm -hmm. is more important than the yeah. And it's physical, physical gathering yeah. in one place, yeah. and we think because we are gathered together in one church, mm -hmm. one building, mm -hmm. then we are not forsaking the yeah. assembly yeah. of our brethren. Church. But then we have different motives and different mm -hmm. How things. How can two so work together if not if they not the agree, if they yes. not agree? So actually, we are not. We, we are saying that is church when we physically come, body, and body. we yeah, and we are quoting the scriptures, and we are saying never forsake, never forsake. But that is less beneficial than when people might even be in different continents, but connected in one spirit. So it's actually about the spirit. Maybe that's what Jesus said, one spirit. But that's why Jesus said that they that worship the Lord, rather the Lord must worship in spirit. So it's about spirit and truth rather than physical play. Maybe we need to redefine, you know, don't forsake the assembly of your people, actually. It's about because you are assembly with people, but you are not in spirit. You are not one in spirit. Yeah. 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 And we and say you pray and nothing is happening. Yeah. Uh, you have the same thoughts. Also, yeah, I, 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 yeah, so somewhere it's written. Yeah, yeah. So, for, yeah, first John 1 8. When we walk in the light, and one thought, mm -hmm. you know, a body, we can be in different places in the Somewhere. earth, like body of Christ. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see, because if we are just body, it's like flesh. We just get <laughs> flesh, you know, but without, we have a different thoughts, different mm -hmm. designs, mm -hmm. and we cannot connect yeah. any. Yeah. So, it it, it has some uh, like body of Christ. Uh, we can be in the different places. Mm -hmm. uh, we of course we can come together like today, for mm -hmm. example. We could, but you know, uh, this is also have value. You know, to to mm -hmm. sit mm -hmm. all together. But it's not necessary every because, week. But to it, sit together. but we have to first of all be connected in the spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
before we could have this kind of synergy mm -hmm. in Instagram and this strength and this power and this unity we're having. This is so easy today, mm -hmm. even though we're just meeting for the first time today, mm -hmm. but because of the spirit, in the unity yeah. in the spirit we already yeah. had yeah. from wherever we're coming from, mm -hmm. so it's, that brings the synergy immediately yeah. Yeah. and so strong. But you see, the thing is that we didn't start out in physically we didn't start out in agreement in spirit mm. it was by watching mm. that we could all like now connecting. Yeah. Yeah. so so the value for me in my friendship with you and the relationship with you you're walking so much in the light mm -hmm. and so anybody who's hungry after walking in the light right. the bible says mm -hmm. that's where we have fellowship with one another yeah. that's right. and who chooses just to walk in the light with Jesus <laughs> no darkness at all <laughs> then the blood of Jesus also yes. cleanses us from all sin. So this kind of fellowship is cleansing even without anybody doing this. Beautiful. Wow. We were all looking for the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know this is something for the future, but I've been thinking a lot about the University of Life. Right. And as you're writing these books, uh, I'm thinking if there could be a short presentation okay. from you or... And Igor! Or Igor! Just one. Yeah. Okay, don't worry. I can tell you. Okay. The, the, a short presentation from you or... Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ну, все ведущие, все, что ты делаешь, это технически, все, что за как мы начинали, все, ну, все истории, все, кто там выступает. Ну, хорошо, мы постараемся. Сборник всего, все, все. Мы постараемся. So a short presentation of the golden nuggets of each of these books you're writing mm -hmm. becomes a module, mm -hmm. the basis of a module, motivating people all over the world to study that module, as well as obviously access the book either by internet yes, or by physical. Yes. But Many times, like in the fellowship, an idea comes up, yes, you should write a book about that. Then you're writing the books. But I'm saying, now, after the books are written, you have your golden nuggets. Mm -hmm. This would be great marketing. And marketing is not just marketing for business. Marketing is what you're talking about. It's communicate, purposeful communication. And yes. this will, like, I, I'm thinking about all these people I'm connected with in India, and, I would, and this year, much more connections. There will be millions of people. Mm -hmm. And in China, and instead of them having to look at the Facebook platform yeah. and to sort through everything, and and translation, right? If we can instead do the golden nuggets, right? And then we translate that to Chinese, to Telugu, to, to all the different languages, and put it out. Right. People are, you know, millions and millions of people are going to come on board and have this fellowship we're talking about. Mm. In their places, yes. And then what we do is we create. Uh, internet platforms that they have discussion groups about what's going on brilliant. and then as you have always somebody who's a coordinator that when there's something really brilliant that comes they're putting it back to you right. and they're doing it in one of the languages you're more like what you are doing with the video now mm -hmm. excellent yeah I wanted to talk about um, visiting um, some of the DSC family. Yeah, in London. I got your wish <laughs> you know, when we started this, we sort of um, thought that, you know, we were just going to just, you know, visit. Mm -hmm. But what we met was amazing, like we were all talking right now. The connection mm -hmm. in the spirit realm was so powerful. And then Kamai said to me, Mom, you know, ordinary people don't do this kind of stuff. You see somebody on Facebook and you take off and say, let's come visit you. <laughs> You know, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't. But what we did is we wrote to them and let them know that we were in London and that we were coming to London. Actually, that was the first thing that we did, mm -hmm. and we asked their permission actually if so we could come visit yeah. them, mm -hmm. and they were just more than excited. But then the other work was to make sure. Now remember, I haven't even been to London in fourteen years, so mm -hmm. I forgot about the the train connections and <laughs> all this stuff and so we were just going by faith it was like what is your address what's the train station how can we meet you and so on and so forth but as um we were doing it we also had to keep in our focus too that if we promise to meet them 
Mm. We should meet them. Mm. And so up to the very late morning, we will talk <coughs> about how we're still coming. <laughs> and we'll say, we don't, in case, you know, our phone doesn't work, we <laughs> will be at the station at that time. <laughs> Just look for us, you know. And um, you've never met these people before. Never. But I will tell you something. On both sides, there was this kind of, for a very short period, kind of awkwardness. Mm -hmm. And then when I mean, just... I, I never knew him from yeah. anywhere. No? I'm in London and I'm going to visit you. Yeah. And then, like, hey, hey, hey. but I'm sure they were thinking, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Those are these people, really. My, 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 my house is not good enough. My apartment is small. My kids are not this. But I, I don't have money now. And I may not look like the person I look That's like on Facebook. Facebook. Oh. Love covers all because yes. it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Glory to God. It didn't matter. They could have been on the street in a hole and we would have just loved them. One of them said to us that she was so sorry about her face. Yeah, she was so sorry about this. And we were like, you know what? It is you. It's about you. It's not about your face. It's about us coming together and then they would just you know, release themselves like, okay, there's, you know, but the, the wonderful thing, the, the most best thing was that it's not that we went to go like talk up you mm -hmm. and we would just sit down and listen to their transformation story. Mm -hmm. They would just volunteer yeah. what the message is, what Pastor Sunday had done in their lives. And me and my daughter would just sit down there and we would just go, what a transformation story. And the, everybody had the story that they don't want to return to what they were before. Mm -hmm. And it would tell us the things that they were given up, mm -hmm. the lifestyles that they were given up, the thoughts that they were given up, the friends that they had given up, the, well, well, the, the, yes. the church that they had given up, the whole life well, and well, restrain well, themselves well, like you were talking about imprisonment. Well, they were now restraining themselves to well, well, No, there wasn't one person that we met who hadn't been taken, not just talking about it, but had taken already action on their thoughts. Are you see? You yes. know? And that was the mm. remarkable thing was that they weren't just saying, oh, that was a wonderful thing that Pastor <laughs> Sunday like says. Yeah. They were saying, I've now cut this from my life. Yeah. I've now introduced this into my life. This is what I'm planning. This is what I'm doing. This is my next step. And, you know. Without ever even informing me or even meeting them or. Because it's so natural. Just being obedient to God and just. Yeah. You were speaking before about how this happened so quickly with Facebook around the world and stuff. But just like in the Roman Empire, they built the roads. Yeah. They had the common language of pointing. That is why there's Facebook around the world. For people to have fellowship in God. Pastor was saying a few minutes ago about apprehension with church members because of different agendas. Well, sometimes people also have been disloyal. Mm -hmm. And uh, have created a platform for themselves and walked yes. out. And I in my life, also, there's some disappointment that's happened. <laughs> and then you value even more this <laughs> holy fellowship. Yeah. Right? Purity. Purity. Yes. Amen. Purity motives of people. I, I don't even need to hear. I don't even need to know all mm -hmm. the transformation that's going on. I don't even need to know about it. But you got to hear something? Oh. But heaven is recording all this, you know. Heaven is recording all this. And, then I was and no self-glory. I don't need to know about it. I don't need to, you know, point to it. I don't need to say these are my members. Mm -hmm. How many? They are 1,000 or 2,000. I don't need to even talk about it. But God is just doing his work. Is that another church we are getting you know, introduced to? I don't even think that they even realize. <laughs> no, but the thing is that it's not like they sat there and said, Pastor Sunday inspired me to do, but it's like your thought became their own thought. So yeah. they didn't need yeah. to. Yeah. They didn't need to. We, you know, they were talking about a transformation and what they were doing, and it came from their own head, but it was a thought that was, was inspired by you, but it became so much them, they did not need to tell us that it was Pastor Sunday. They didn't even, they didn't even need to it think. Is their own they didn't even need to think it, it was their Pastor own Sunday. Thing. Yes, it was their yes. own thought. And I think, you know, that's the powerful thing is that you can share a thought, 
and they can actually assume that it's their own thoughts. <laughs> you know, and that's the beauty. That's what you were saying a wife can do in a marriage, right? It's to share a thought, and then the man just thinks, oh, yeah, I came up with that. <laughs> no, you didn't, but the thing is going to be done anyway. That is the point of the, you know, it doesn't matter who got the glory. At the end of the day, yeah, yeah. what you wanted to happen is happening. And because of what uh, Rory also said, because... Whatever Pastor Sunday said is being repeated by you, is being repeated by her, by her, by her, by her. So at the end of the day, it's just coming from God. Because yes. yeah. where you got it from. Yeah, it's just coming from God. <laughs> yeah. And it's so amazing the way every person is taking these messages and really making it their own. And yeah. when you hear it from each, uh, each uh, every other person, is, it's like, you just, you know, you still feel that freshness and you still feel... Mm -hmm the zeal and the passion with which you heard the word the mm -hmm. first time. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's really amazing. I, I want to expose some of my own weakness. When I first was on television a lot, people would come to me and they would say, oh, you're my spiritual father. Things like that. And I would be embarrassed. Or I would feel, oh, is this really real? Mm -hmm. But the, I understood the Lord is saying, yes, it's real. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is people are connecting with what God has given us. Mm -hmm. And through the screen mm -hmm. that you're talking about before, mm -hmm. then people are able to go past all the normal social conventions and just get the heart of what we've gotten from God. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't want only one ambassador. He doesn't want everyone to refer, oh, you have to look at Pastor Son. He wants all millions of, of ambassadors. Be yes. mm -hmm. Because each one of us is appealing to different mm -hmm. people. That is it. And that's what I was saying about your messages. Like when I watch uh, someone you're talking about finance, because he has that. And knowing that he's teaching, it makes it so unique because you could see that he's in his element talking about that, even though it was your message. Mm -hmm. You understand? Well, it's become. It becomes his own. So and I don't even talk about it anymore. Talk about it anymore yeah. But he's yeah. taking it as his own passion yeah. and he's doing it so well. You know, it just makes it like, well, <laughs> everybody's just manifesting in their own element. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. 200, mm -hmm. uh, 200 messages. Coming from mm -hmm. DSA family, mm -hmm. everybody having their own different platforms. Mm -hmm. From what I preach, and I just keep on going mm -hmm. talking about other things, somebody but somebody picks it up yeah. and yeah. it becomes their yeah. own. Like when I listen to Tega, there is a lady yes. that is called yes. Tega, <laughs> yeah. Tega, or Tega, Tega. Yeah. That lady, when I listen to her, I mean, I didn't even know her. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know she was on the platform. I saw. I mentioned the name, but I couldn't connect. If I thought it was a man, <laughs> that name. I thought that name was a man. Then I saw her here. I got to know she was a woman. But when I began to listen to her video, it's like I'm not needed anymore. How could she get it so well? That is now her message. <laughs> the funny thing is, is that what I think is like everyone who comes to you already has a, a flame. When they come to you, you really are just blowing so that it gets bigger. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not like we didn't, what I was telling my mom earlier, it's like everybody is coming to Pastor Sunday not to discover something new, but rather to remember what has been told to them, but they haven't. Ignite. Yes, ignite it, you know. They, they're remembering something. God already put something yes. anyway. Yeah. 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 So you don't have to be called a pastor mm -hmm. before you or we all carry the call mm -hmm. on our lives. So we just need to awaken yeah. to, yeah. to spark yeah. with that. Mm -hmm. Let me say something about all this with evangelism. Uh, one of the things I learned first from you, as we've talked about, is honoring, for instance, uh, people who are not believers, but for the truth in their life. Mm -hmm. Like you helped me honor my father in a much greater way. Mm -hmm. And this is very important for evangelism mm. because this removes all the barriers when we honor truth. Because mm. everyone in the world, no matter if they have no knowledge of Jesus at all, yes. there's some truth that they've already yeah. grasped. Mm. And this creates also a platform for us with anybody mm. as we're just bringing more truth. Yeah. That is so profound. Do you know there is a guy on the DSA family? In, is it innocent, Magaji? Yeah. Is he innocent? Oh, is innocent you know, he doesn't believe. He said he's not a believer. He doesn't. He's not a Muslim. He's not a Christian. Yeah. Like ag agnostic. <laughs> but he's one of the most passionate <laughs> person for past, uh, about this message. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
So he is preaching this, he is talking about this message, he is doing video about it, but he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't the Christian. He doesn't believe in God, not in the Bible. That's powerful. Yeah. He said, I'm an atheist, I don't believe in God, I don't believe in God, but when I listen to this man, this thing, something is happening. <laughs> This is how you reach all the presidents, prime ministers <laughs> yes, of yes, Africa, yes. is because of speaking truth. When you're honoring the Muslim yes. uh, leader for Nigeria because of the truth he's walking yes. in, and there, there's honoring of truth, yes. it creates a commonality that's so Now vital. Indians, in fact, four Indians were supposed to come now, mm -hmm. but they couldn't get their visa. So the Indians, I don't know if they're Buddhists or if they're Christians, I don't know if they're Muslims, mm -hmm. but they've just been following. Mm -hmm. And they said, in fact, there is a couple who want, they just want to move to Ukraine like my wife. They just want to be what I said, are you Christians? Are you? They said, no, we are PhDs. On, you know, <laughs> what is what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but they've been listening so much. They said, this is life. We need this life. We want this life. And we want to take it to other people. We want to come and learn more so that we'll take it to the world. <laughs> So it, the truth is uniting yeah. people. Yes. Yes. It's going beyond religious borders. Yes. Yes. They might think they don't believe, but yes. they say, but when you say it, we believe. <laughs> we like this. It's our message now. Yes. So this market is, okay, he's attacking church, G Jesus, and, but he's me making pastor so this message and saying, this is what I believe. This is what so, <laughs> so yeah, he's telling people, you must come and listen to this man. This is what you should, then this is the answer to the world. What this man is saying, if we have been atheists, but what he says is the answer to the world. But I'm surprised because he, Pastor Sunday, he's saying, he, he's talking about God, he's talking about Jesus, but it's not the same Christianity I know from other places. So the Christians I know from other places, I'm against it. I hate it. But what he's talking is what I need. He is what we need. <laughs> and he's not the only one. There are three of them who are atheists. But they said, we're addicted to this message. Yeah. <laughs> they are atheists, but they're addicted to the truth. <laughs> and they are now, in fact, one of them did a, that, did a video to recommend Pastor Sunday's <laughs> message and our platform to all the unbelievers, all the people. <laughs> Another person wrote an article and said, you know, even though I'm an atheist, but... I cannot stop listening to this man. I, if I don't listen to him in a week, I'm sick. <laughs> I don't know who was the first, they are the first ones to buy my books. And then they go and write a comment and say, everybody must read this book. So they don't understand, why is your own Jesus, the message, different from what we are used to? Because what we are used to, people hit you in the head. <laughs> And say you are going to hell or you are doing, but this is making me to fall in love with the, with this thing you are saying. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus said, "I am truth. I am life. I am the way." Mm. So now I, I believe mm. uh, now uh, the connections that God create through all of this platform that you do, Pastor. You know the speed. Will be so quickly. We cannot. Ah! And the people just didn't know what happened. What what God? I I I am an embassy of God twenty years. So what God did before? Now I see what he, what happened before. Yeah. This time it's nothing. What will be happen? Now I see this. You see this. The, the speed. You Kuwait, cannot control it. This like man. People from uh, uh, in, uh, Dubai, people yeah. from Saudi Arabia, who are just uh, purely Muslims. Yeah. Mm. It's not about like like si some systems that man create. Mm. So True. the speed will be so Truth. quickly. Mm. People so all of these rising connections. Yeah. Every day there are people joining the groups, the Dr. Sandila Atlanta groups. Mm. And some of black people. I see... Um, mm -hmm. The Arabic kind of mm -hmm. yeah, yes. from yeah, yeah, people from yeah. everywhere. Yeah. That connect because he knows everyone. 
in the world. Anywhere. It's a new thing. We are living in a new world. We got to recognize that. This is a new thing, yeah. For 43 years, I've been like learning different people's formulas for success. But your formula for success that you give people is the most concise clear mm -hmm. message on the mm -hmm. planet that I've ever heard. Yeah. Yeah. And so when Muslim, yeah. Buddhists, atheists are exposed to it, mm -hmm. because of the strength of the truth of it, yes. it becomes something that they must have. Mm -hmm. And this is why it's so strong pre-evangelistic, because it's kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. It's like opening a door for them into the kingdom yes. that they didn't know existed. Because yeah. yeah. it didn't exist before. It and that's the platform that God's given us. It didn't know it existed. It's like making us realize that we, we have the, uh, a, uh, how I, the same level playing field. There is no... no Even no, Muslims and you know, Christians? It's, just, you know, it's, it's the same level playing We are field. human. Yes, the Spirit of God is in all of us. Yes. You know? <coughs> I, I think that is so, it's so like, it's, I really just want to take yeah. that and, oh yes, I, I, now I know who I am. I know that I can I'm mm -hmm. here for a purpose. I'm, I can really live and not just exist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, when, uh, in in New Testament, we, we read that the law will be right on the, yeah, the heart of men, on the hearts, and you will not be um, uh, need, uh, need uh, teach, teach each you. other, yes. okay. but it will be there. Yes. 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 Yeah. Like no, and I was, I was reading these words, and yeah. I said, oh, how it will, how, did, how it will be happen? <laughs> Interesting hmm. thoughts. But you know, now now I start understand. Yeah. No, in the here, but from inside yeah. I start understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And the, the time will come, and you know it will happen. Yeah. Yeah. The world is yeah. catching up, I think, to what God's already put in place. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so us being connected through computers is just it's it's, tool. He's already put. <laughs> The, the wireless connection, yeah. mm -hmm. you know. He's just waiting for the technology that's going to make it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. What a burning you're having. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> blessed. Mm -hmm. I'm so blessed. You know, I just said, uh, why not? Come on the 29th. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor kept saying 29, 29. I didn't even want to come on the 29th. I said, oh, only if he knows it's my birthday. <laughs> God set you up. <laughs> I'm glad I mean, yeah, there's no better place <laughs> to be in on this day. And this is a wonderful fellowship we're having. Mm -hmm. There's a vibration going from us to everybody else. Mm -hmm. You want to greet them and read some of their comments? <laughs> Hello, everyone. How are you doing? If you've enjoyed the last couple of hours, so I'm how many going to hours have we been going? Two hours already. Um, it's now 20 past, almost 20 past 12 midnight here. So I'm just going <laughs> I'm to. I need to wake up early in the morning. Yes, to to the yes, yes. Um, nice one, Queen Keru. Um, you from my Caroline sister, Lola Sharunke, Queen. In Goya and Tyler Mayowa, happy birthday again! You from a fantastic fellowship. Uh, it's happening already. Hi, hi, Mayo. This is a huge sacrifice. Thank you. Um, you're right. Let me just read. Since I met, since I met DSA, Christianity is all new to me. Jesus is all is new what? to. Since I met DSA, Christianity is all new to me. All new. All new to me. Jesus is all new to me. <laughs> Um, we have another one. Even the coordinator and discussion is not directed by anyone. I think this is something. One of my neighbors came to me today and said, we want to go to your church now. You invite us earlier than we didn't want to, but now we want to get, get connected to you. Because you are real. Now. When they used to just go to church as religious, people didn't want to come. Now they see the change. Yes. I have, uh, somebody said, I have a training class with 20 people and we are all reading Who Am I? Mm -hmm. 
say people just started yeah. normally we'll call it a church but it's not a church people just you know 20 people who ask me picture just because of the book who am i provoke you know call 20 people somewhere you know your home churches like in the old testament in the new testament home churches people just you have your own group you know in your you started with who am i you started with who am i too i started one you started one too you know see how many groups are you know giving birth to in uh, everywhere, mm -hmm. and we don't even call it church. Mm -hmm. Everybody just, you know, in the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. The truth is uh, the truth is just. Uh -huh. Because your understanding of Jesus is different from the way other pastors understood him, your Jesus is not manipulative but love, humble and kind. And that's the point. Was, teaching right? how to become. Truth. Um, Jesus died for everyone, not religion. Mm -hmm. uh, Love and truth conquers all and breaks every boundaries. Well done, you can bring, you can begin to train people you meet in your circle of influence. Yeah, everybody where you are, know, yeah. we need to train on that. And that's what Jesus meant by teaching them to observe mm -hmm. all that I've taught you. In the nations, not in the church actually. That's not, mm -hmm. he didn't say do it in the church. He said, teach nations where they are. And that's what you are doing now, because everywhere in the spheres of influence, mm -hmm. in the nation itself, mm -hmm. is where you're discipling them. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. just church members. That is why I love my mentor, Pastor Sunday, the truth. DSA, you're phenomenal. Uh, now I'm looking for people that think like me or can replicate my personality to handle what clients want me to do for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. DSA ignites and unleashes the fire in me indeed. <laughs> we are all priests. Uh, yeah, we are all priests. The ripple, the ripple of DSA is, is doing, is going global. Pastor, you are raising world ch changes. People from village, uh, people from my village, are always watching with me. I have not oh. been there for twenty years, but DSA connected us wow. together. Is he, the person has not been to his village for twenty years. The past they, twenty years. Yes, but the people are connected with him through the platform. Yeah. So he is making the people in his village, back in maybe Africa or somewhere, mm -hmm. wash with him, mm -hmm. even though he's never been there, yes. but they are all washing now. Yes. Yeah. That was how the gospel of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. spread through the land, mouth to mouth, door to door. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, don't forget to share. Please share. DSA, you have brought sanity back to the church and people's lives. DSA impact is so strong on us. Sorry. Only go. I think that's a good point. It's really yeah. sanity. All of the emotions and activity that is mm -hmm. taking you nowhere. It's like full stop. Just start again. <laughs> yeah. Did you tell people to share? Yes, I've just asked people to share. Can you guys please share? Share again. Thank you. DSA impact is so strong on us. Only, only God will bless and increase Him. I resigned after listening to Him. A message from Pastor Sunday. Today I'm a boss doing better. Resign from his job? Yes. People calling me to manage their <laughs> automobile business. <laughs> but, <laughs> but he's doing better. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If to resign, he's doing worse. <laughs> we want him to be doing better. <laughs> Someone says, real people, real issues. This is quite true. Uh, great insights. Uh, so people will know if you really care. Pastor Sunday is consistent and genuine. This is mm. there is a saying that people don't care how much you know. They they when you know how much you care. Church and fellowship will define true DSA family. Caroline, uh, hello, Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> they love you, Caroline. Excellent discussion. We're not here to please anyone, but because of this synergy, 
truth, truth, transparency, deliverance, and many more are overwhelming. Mm -hmm. This is the best way to spend an evening. My heart is so at peace. Thank you so much. But is this an a, a, impromptu thing? Yes. It's, it's all thanks to Mayowa. <laughs> Mayowa is a miracle worker. <laughs> Mayowa, you are the miracle worker. We, we, we're all grateful to you. Yes. So thank you so much. And people are tired of playing church, doing same old, same old, and playing fake and not being loved. Yeah. Mm. Uh, when people feel they come because of you, they end up having a mindset that you owe them. Uh, I think that was when you were discussing about the church. church yes. Yeah. Pastor Sunday, some people are like that, but most people will come when you call because they have learned to trust you as a leader and because you're different from the pastors and leaders. You, you are raising, then dot, dot, dot. The pastors and leaders you're raising. Pastor Sunday, you are a bridge builder. I have confidence in people from DSA family than so many people from, from people in my local church. Yeah, I have many been, people say that. I have been for 14 years, even the leaders. So this confirms what I just said. See, I this, feel, another person saying the same thing. I feel, He's been I going feel, to a church for 14 years, but no relationship. Mm -hmm. Just the body. Mm -hmm. Just the physical body. Mm -hmm. But here, it's never met them. Yeah. But it's more connected to them. It's not connected, connected. Is it connected? Connected, connected. Knitted. Knitted. It's more connected with people that you've never ever seen, but one spirit, yeah. than people that you've been meeting body to body for 14 years and no connection. Yeah? I just imagine if we were shareholders with Facebook, so next time DSA comes live, <laughs> we should have a say about taking down the page. <laughs> I come here because I learn. I feel at home with like-minded people. I used to feel like that. I was odd and strange. Now I know I am different in a good way. Amen. Facebook fellowship or church service was so real. No more due diligence. I service. Well done to me. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Um, people feel compelled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I saw that earlier. <laughs> DSA. The hair isn't coming back. <laughs> DSA family has come to stay forever. <laughs> <laughs> so no disputing that eh? yeah. it's not going to stop it's not going to stop <laughs> <laughs> honestly thanks I to Mayowa Mayowa is the one doing the hard work that she's holding this camera for hours <laughs> trying to hold your smartphone for hours and she's not I'm sure she's feeling sleepy but she can't sleep <laughs> She's shooting everybody. Honestly, I cried when we scattered for a while. <laughs> you for cried? A while. No, this person, not me. He said, honestly, I cried when we scattered for a while. Oh. I cried, but, you know, inside me. When, we... when, when Facebook stopped us, this oh, person said. Okay. For a while. Uh, yes. But God and... used it for good. Yes. We have all these platforms now. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people are dancing when you said you're thinking of coming back. I noticed. Um, yes, I don't know if uh, if I don't know if uh, Kate is watching or if she's going to see this. She she was watching. I don't know if she's still there because I saw okay. her coming. Because if Kate would finish doing, if she, Kate would do a good job, because she started to work on. Uh, helping us get as many people as possible uh, from February and in the last one month she's been able to take it from 1,000 to the new one, the new platform from 1,000 to 40,000. It's 43 today. Okay, so she's doing a good job. I, I think we all need to join 
because she needs people to just help her just press do you know yeah, what's happening she, she, she told you yeah, okay she tells us how to which was quite helpful for you, if anyone you want to share yeah but for sharing that is different no that's different now is a different thing she already has people right now who are liking pastor sunday who are uh, liking pastor sunday she has actually over 1000 100 one fifty thousand people that have liked some of my publications okay. so but she needs people to help just they're already on my platform mm -hmm. but they liking uh some of my what i wrote mm -hmm. or what i i'm showing sure but they have not liked the main page Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. but but you are only it's only when you like the main page yeah, yeah, that that's you true. yeah that yeah. okay that's now where she needs yeah. people okay. she needs as many people to help me liking every day so you just invite people to like the main page yeah, but that's what she needs mm -hmm. so we need to you know all of us we need to just uh, join her mm -hmm. and make that as a duty every day mm -hmm. you know and uh, I will ask her maybe during the break tomorrow maybe she will come. And help, and we yeah, will join. Sure. So we will just be helping her yeah. anytime. Maybe in the morning, you know, you could yeah, just go yeah, yeah. and add. So if we keep doing that, and we uh, we have, let's say, I think the way at the speed she's working now, maybe we could get a hundred thousand by May. Mm -hmm. And if we get a hundred thousand by May after my birthday, then. I'm going to, I think maybe from uh, the next day after the birthday or from the 1st of June, yeah. yeah, I think I will just have to come back because of this discussion. Mm -hmm. Because I, I'm, I'm seeing deeper mm -hmm. about the effect of, you know, what I've been doing more than I thought. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's why it's the only heaven will be able to show us our results at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Because I was thinking, more in terms of how you know have i been able to give out what god wants me to give out? i just want to be faithful mm -hmm. but i've not really been able to follow and trace the uh back the whatever the, the results yeah the impact and the i'm not having i don't i can't measure that mm -hmm. so i have just saying okay since i cannot measure the result mm -hmm. and since i cannot have the feedback I just want to be faithful. Okay. Mm -hmm. and so, so I was more focusing on me being faithful to delivering what God wants me to deliver, even if there is not going to be any result. Mm -hmm. But now, hearing this, I even see that. So maybe it's, it's, it's a platform that God, God created. Maybe it's mm -hmm. God who is doing this. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's God who is... For such a time as this. And I always say that God loves me so much. And I think he loves us so much. You know, for, you know, I think uh, for us not to remain in darkness, mm -hmm. it's all about him. It's all about him and what he wanted to do because it's not it's not a, it's not coincidence at all. Mm -hmm. He just loves us so much, and he needed to do something to take us out of that darkness mm -hmm. and bring us back into this light. It reminds me of this quote that says. Um, Nothing can stop an idea whose time has come. Yeah, exactly. oh, it's not, it's not yeah. Yeah. No matter what happens, yeah. this has to happen. It has to. You know? yeah. No matter if Facebook takes this down or not, yeah. come back even stronger. Yeah. Because it's the time, and nothing, no one can do anything about it. Yeah. And, and I think that the messages of the pastor start on Facebook, it's like <coughs> light. Mm. And that's what? Light. 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 Yeah. Yeah. light. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and you just... It's well, so much light. You just uh, make this light... It's about light. It yes. just, it's yes. Yes. And, and you just need to, la uh, to, to send this light, mm. you know, and people, and you always just took this light and continue to give an, uh, another light, mm. you know? Mm. It's not about like... The like no, no, yeah, mm. and just It's knowledge. not about knowledge. Yeah, yeah. because, you know... They, uh, of course, we, we take the knowledge and we need to practice this, yeah? Mm -hmm. But, you know, this is, is something that somebody is already already uh, ready now to do this. Somebody will ready in one it's month. Somebody in one month. They chose. The people chose just the light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So don't... And God don't want this light to be stopped. Yeah. So, and we see now... Mm -hmm. You know, even if Facebook was stopping again, again, light you cannot stop light. Mm -hmm. One of the things I think will encourage people most, uh, and 
be good for accountability is if people are giving feedback what they're doing mm-hmm. and how okay. this is impacting. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Because then this really does become church. Yeah. Not to replace church, but this is church. Okay. Yeah. And this is fellowship and it's building and it's us communicating what's going on. And then we can start to interact also on a secondary platform of how to encourage each other, mm-hmm. how to help one another. So when we hear, yeah, what we are, yeah, we edify each other. Mm-hmm. Should I continue? Yes, please. I cried when you went out Facebook. Bravo. There are lots of WhatsApp group created right now in many different countries yeah. in regards to DSA's birthday. Yeah, many what? Um, what's that group created? What, what's that? What's that group? I would suggest the group be maintained afterwards. Can I just say that's a good secondary platform? Yeah. Right there. What's that? What's what's up? Up? Like every HMT, there's a WhatsApp group that mm-hmm. follows from that. Yeah. So to have a WhatsApp group for people interacting on how they're building things, how they're doing stuff, doing these do you, groups. Do you have WhatsApp? Do you yes, have I have WhatsApp. I mean, some of them. You, some of them? Okay. Yes. Yeah. I'm not aware that you mm-hmm. have WhatsApp. <laughs> yeah. I'm not aware of it. I didn't know that. See, yeah. someone, someone here, Lisa Eckenhardt. Ek- from Ohio in the US and she's just sharing right now you love God only by loving people Mm -hmm. and it's just just a quotation she's putting the YouTube message on for our friends and our followers in America so things are just happening while we are doing this she's not here she's not aware but she's doing another thing we cannot count (laughs) <laughs> oh, if, if, we, if we just start to count and talk about results, which is the only basis in 24 hours. So yeah. just Your look at yeah, yeah. hey, so, Going back to what, can I say something? Yes, sure. please. What you were saying before, Julie, and Pastor was talking with you about, and Caroline was saying, um, it's like a, a, a strange mercy. It's love when Pastor is keeping this very high standard yeah. that you were talking about. You know, it breaks this idolatry we have in, in American culture and many other cultures of just trying to be sympathetic to where people are at. Mm-hmm. Instead, help people to where God's yeah, taking sure. them. Yeah. That's love. Yeah. I've appreciated that in your life very much. Someone said, I will share a testimony. I met someone on Pastor Sunday's platform who never knew me for, from nowhere. And he trusted the business into my hand. He entrusted his Toyota Camry. Mm-hmm. Worth three million wow. into my care. Wow. Mm. Amen. Just by meeting mm. on the platform. Thousands of these testimonies are coming. Wow. Thank God you said that. So we should send them. We should let them come mm-hmm. yeah. so that we know. Because we would not even know this if we were not talking like that. Yeah. It's not it both Somebody, it's never, somebody mm-hmm. they would never met each other. But because of the level of trust that has been released on the platform, and I believe it, I believe that right now, if she will need to go to New Zealand, and you she will need your car or your house, I'm sure you will do that easy. And I'm sure you will do that also easy. We hear, we hear, we hear, we hear, because of the synergy. And the trust that has been, yeah, is that what you're feeling? Yes, that's yeah. why I actually decided to go and visit them <laughs> because yeah. I, I didn't know the city, I didn't know them, and I still was so convinced <laughs> that I was in the best hands. In the best hands, yeah. And if I went mm-hmm. to see her in, in San Francisco, so read that thing again mm. <laughs> <laughs> about the Camry. Yeah, I will share a testimony. I met someone on Pastor Sunday's platform who never knew me from nowhere, and he trusted the business into my hands. He entrusted his Toyota Camry worth three million into my care. Wow. And and you know another thing that I heard is brewing right now behind the scene of the SA family is that he. he <laughs> <Your account. laughs> 
What's brewing, sir? What brewing is, <laughs> is that I heard some people are going for engagement. Engagement? Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> People who never met each other before. Oh, surprised. Oh, surprised. Wow, we could have a face on Facebook. We can have a first wedding on Facebook. Yeah. I don't have I'm not giving out any any names. I'm not giving out any names. But people who've never met each other. Just all, uh, just just coming every day to twice a day on DSA family, got connected so much yeah. that mm. now they are doing the engagement wow. mm. and the marriage will take place this year. Ooh. Wow! Wow! wow. wow. Yes. And, and the reason I think is in the spirit realm. This is mm. integrity.com. Yes. Yes. Mm. Yeah. What we see. <laughs> I know we keep saying, saying, saying it's on the platform and a joke, but this is the best place to get a wife and to get a husband. We say yeah. it because where, 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 where will you be? And these people are not asking that Pastor Sunday, you need to know about it or you need to connect us or just naturally. Yeah. And the most exciting thing about it is that they have all the tools that they need. To yeah. You are sure. And we are coming from the same place. You have know, head and his head. We you know the same truth. So why not? <laughs> so things are happening. It's not just the Camry, Toyota. It's not just the three million. It's not just the business. You know. It's also love. It's also love. family. Yeah. It's also family, new families. Yeah. But we also, we're all in such a state of readiness, though, Pastor, that what I see for the future is that once we start to clear, clear our visions and clear mm -hmm. what we actually want to do in our lives, we'll start to make connections mm -hmm. that will make even your project faster mm -hmm. yeah. because all of us would have found our calling and been working on it. So that by the time you're ready to put things in place, people already have vehicles, yes. you know, and so I think that, you know, it's, it is a good thing that you went off, even if you're coming back, mm -hmm. because now when you come back, it will be to equip what we're already doing, yeah. it will be to push our, you know, our already projects even further, mm -hmm. or into directions that are more clear, so. so. We should more people, because new people, you know, they are Okay, yes. new people might want to, yeah. 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 So and some of us are going to move on into our projects, yeah. leaving a lot of room for new people new to people come in. Because mm. you know, there should be a maturity point mm. where you go, okay, yeah. now let me move into... Now the mentees can become the mentors. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Yeah. I'll continue. A lot of people are still trapped in church tradition. I have a friend now who thinks we can do a big thing together without traveling to meet each other. This is trust, mm. honesty. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. Jesus is the reason for the season as well as also under the same umbrella. Uh, people of the same school of thoughts and worldview. Right now, I'm even a prayer partner that and right now, I, I even have a prayer partner that prays along with me and fasts. Guess what? We met on Pastors on this platform. Wow. wow. Uh, that's so true. People of like minded. I became an in international friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As the saying goes, people are my covering clo clothes. <laughs> Saying hello to Caroline. Someone says hello. I uh, I love you all. Well, you know, thank you so much, everybody. I think uh, God gave us this day mm -hmm. and this fellowship. Uh, of course, partly 
due to the anniversary, but normally I would not stay up late like this for the especially when I've been gone since eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. But it's all thanks to uh, Ufuma's birthday. Mm -hmm. If she could make the sacrifice to actually travel on her birthday mm -hmm. and be so tired and still come and leave her family. So, you know, this birthday is giving life not just to us who are here. Normally in the old world, <laughs> where you are is the only place where your birthday is celebrated. Mm. But right now, in the new world, mm. this is life. She, our birthday is being celebrated in all those countries. Mm. Mm. Where there are over 2,000 views already just because she has a birthday today. Mm. And the stuff, the kind of stuff we're talking about, you cannot write a script for this. You, mm -hmm. There's just no way this could be coming from mine. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. I, original ideas from Caroline. Mm -hmm. she, I'm sure she never thought she was going to be talking about what she was talking about. Mm -hmm. When she came here, she thought she just came here to congratulate you. <laughs> but the thoughts that have been coming from her, from Pastor Rory, from each and every one of you people here, Pastor Natasha and everybody, you know, this is this is a, this this is a currency. I mean, a current. Mm -hmm. This is a current from heaven. I feel we're in a current. Mm -hmm. This is a, is it current? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a, everyone's current. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's fresh, mm -hmm. it's new, mm -hmm. it's life, mm -hmm. it's immediate, mm -hmm. it's in sync with the mind and spirit of God, mm -hmm. and we're all learning, we're all growing. But then beyond that. Two point something million thousand that are watching and that have seen this is going to be recorded. It's going to be on put, put on Facebook. It's going to be available. It's going to be shared. It's going to go around just because a girl had a birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so honored today. I'm so blessed. Yeah, so you give you the last word. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pastor. I am so pleased to see you today. I was really looking for First time. First time. Are you convinced? I'm convinced. I'm convinced. Yes, yeah, this is Pastor Sunday. Is it real? Is it real? Is it real? <laughs> I'm really so blessed. And I because thank you never saw me. She's been watching just by Facebook. Now she's touching. She's real. This yes, is real. this is Pastor Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you, thank you, everyone. And I'm really grateful to God for you know, giving me this privilege to be here. It's, it's, a, it's a privilege. I know He made it possible. And uh, I just can't thank God enough. I just can't thank God enough. I'm so glad to have met you and to have met all of these wonderful people. We are family, and that is the way it has always been. And I'm so pleased. I just want to thank God and thank Pastor. And to thank all of you out there that have been wishing me happy birthday you since morning. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, everyone. God bless you. And I love you all so much. I love you, Pastor, and I appreciate you. And I know you know that. For my husband and the children, I know they will be pleased, but not happy that they didn't see, see it live. <laughs> that I've actually they been Pastor down, Sunday. Right? No. <laughs> Monday night you go. Yes, indeed. They are excited. If I'm actually in Pastor Sunday's house. Yes. My son says, so you're in Pastor Sunday's house? I say, yes. I say, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. I'm there now. It's real. It's real. So thank you. Thank you, Pastor. I really appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. Well, I will tell you that we have a busy day for me. I don't know what time to do. Tonight, make sure you sleep tonight. Mm -hmm. yeah. You are not sleeping two days. Make sure you sleep tonight. <laughs> you need it. You mm -hmm. need it. Yeah. And then it's going to keep on going like that till the eight every day. It will be intensive life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but we we'll will have a lot of fellowship. What this year, what we have decided to do is that in the afternoons we have seminars mm -hmm. rather than just teaching, teaching, teaching. Mm -hmm. So we we'll have teaching in the morning. Seminars in the afternoon, then teaching in the evening again. So we have a bit of break in the afternoon.
now where we do also still fellow. So thank you so much, my wife. Thank you, you make the, the whole experience <laughs> worth it. Yeah. And DSA TV, thank God Facebook took me away <laughs> so we could have a TV. <laughs> so DSA TV family, let's keep on sharing DSA TV and let's keep on sharing this program. And I'm sure Mayowa is committed to give you reports mm. uh, from whatever is going to be happening here in the church tomorrow and every day. And, uh, you know, she's really been, she, I mean, like you do like f four or five programs a day. Yeah, every opportunity she <laughs> So thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I've you. got to go now. Yeah. See you. Good night. Bye. Bye. That's to thank your, your. A blessing as thank me. I am thanking you this evening. Uh, thank you for your time, for your patience, for all your comments. It's been fantastic to share all this with you. And I know that you've enjoyed it. So thank you. The well done and a thank you is to you. I appreciate you all. I will see you in the morning. It's already uh, another day here. So I'll see you in the morning and um, I'll probably do one on our journey to the church, and if you're from the journey, definitely you will be in the church itself, because I have to connect to the internet to have a good um, viewing for you guys. So, thanks again, and have a good night rest. Take care. Bye. Correct, correct.